Good morning. How are you today? Bruce here. Uncle Bruce. That's right. It's your Uncle Bruce here. Um, welcome one and welcome all to uh, Stock Markets with Bruce, where we talk about the stock markets in plain English. Simple as that. We're just going to cover the markets in plain English to try to figure out together what is going on out there. Um, we're on uh, May the 10th today. Welcome to May the 10th, 2021. And uh, Monday morning, it is pre-market. We're an hour before we open up on the New York Exchange and others. And uh, I'm here to uh, cover that with you. We'll be here for a couple hours after the opening, see how the markets want to start the week. <clears throat> and we'll uh, we'll uh, cover the big stories and cover all the other stories, cover some of the favorite stocks we like to watch and see what's going on with those guys. I'm trying to make sense of head or, heads or tails of what is happening. Uh, as far as some of our favorites are concerned, um, IPOE, uh, that might be the star of the show today. We'll see. Um, had a wonderful close on Friday afternoon, uh, right in the last hour. Shares went up from about fourteen ninety seven or so, fifteen bucks, let's say. Closed at sixteen. Uh, what was it? Sixteen fifty on a pretty serious volume, five point nine nine million. And I would bet you that uh, almost five million of that was in the last hour. Um, and the reason for that, uh, the the company. Um, has effectively uh, through through SoFi the word is out that the that IPOE will will merge with SoFi. Uh, the shareholder proxies have gone out for the for the final approval shareholder vote um, by May twenty fourth twenty seventh or so. That should be all done, and by the end of the month and early June, she'll start trading as SoFi S O F I on the New York Stock Exchange, and uh, we will be. Uh, very active. Uh, this stock will be extremely, com this company, I should say, this new company merged on the New York Exchange will be unbelievably active in the first month of its existing trading time frame. But between now and then, I think we're going to see a lot of activity on IPOE stock as the market begins to figure out, oh, you mean SoFi is actually IPOE right now? That's what this is going to be. The, the realization of a lot of market participants who are not SPAC followers, who are not aware you know, of this market, and or who've been scared away from SPACs by the silly media stories that have been going on about you know, how SPACs are just a nightmare and so on. Um, there's this realization coming along that, oh, wow, th these SPACs actually can merge with rather interesting companies that are really up and comers. SoFi is not a junior little private corporation, nothing like that. We're talking about an eight plus billion dollar enterprise value company upon merger. We're talking about SoFi uh, getting $1.9 billion in cash on the merger because there is so much pipe money. There's over a billion dollars or about a billion dollars from Wall Street coming into the deal on top of the billion or so that's already available. It combined, combined between the two is $1.9 billion. And the street has also, or will about to figure out, it'll, it'll happen shortly. The street will quickly figure out, oh my God, the SoFi people are taking over a chartered bank. They're actually taking over a bank that, that that's just about to close off uh, any moment. Like that's an any minute thing. It's a done deal. It's going to happen. It's going to give this company a banking charter which will transform this corporation into another level. It's an online bank. SoFi is an online financial institution with, uh, at one point it was 800,000 uh, members. Now it's at 1.6 or 7 million. It's going to 3 million by the end of this calendar year. Like the next seven, eight months, 3 million estimated uh, customers and growing like crazy. I mean, next the end of next year, it could be 5 million. The year after that, it could be 8 million. I mean, this, this company is getting big, really big. This financial entity is becoming huge. To me, um, their days may be numbered. Um, they will be public. They will, they will become a public traded company. The stock will do well, very well, in my prediction. But it could be that a Bank of America or a... Uh, Goldman Sachs or a Chase Manhattan or Chase Bank, one of these large outfits might be the buyer of this company. They might just make an offer they can't refuse and just take them over because you either fight them in the street or you buy them. <laughs> you, you don't. You either beat them, you know, at their own game by de developing your own online bank, at least a division, or you acquire these guys. Maybe Walmart buys these guys, and and now Walmart has an online banking system through 
through SoFi, or maybe Amazon buys them because Amazon wants to be in the online banking business. I suspect strongly that within a year or two, this company will be bought up by somebody else. I, I just don't know how they can survive on their own um, unless they can raise 50 billion in cash to really marvel or rival, I should say rival, these competitors because there are large, large companies who are just going to say, hey, why don't we just give you 400 bucks a share and just get lost? <clears throat> and it, it might be that the stock runs to 200 a share on its own. And then there's a, two, there's a $400 takeover offer on the table. It's all in the form of stock. It might be some cash. If you own IPOE, you're going to do very well. If you get it now, you're going to do very, very, very well. And if you get it now by buying the stock, number one, it's a 1720, by the way, on the pre market. It's up 69 cents. You buy the stock. Yes, another way to play this market, buy call contracts, buy options, and make sure that they are at least three months. Now, I'd say six months out. I, you need time to allow this company to fully develop into a, into the deal it's going to quickly become. Uh, you want to go through July and August as a as a as a shareholder uh, through options at least. So you don't want to have any options less than September, and really go out to November and then further out and take a look at 17s, 1750s, 18s, 19s, 20s, 21s, 22s. You can go out to 21s, 22s, 23s for six months, a year. And if you can get them nice and cheap, pick them up, just load up and uh, get yourself leverage on this deal. Get yourself 10 call contracts or 20 or 30 or 50. If you can get them cheap enough, and I mean less than 50 cents a share, like 50 bucks a contract or 30 bucks a contract or $40 a contract. If you can get them in that level and you can afford 20, 30, 40, 50 of them, do it. You're gonna have two to 5,000 shares of leverage. And at 35 bucks a share, if this thing doubles, 35 bucks a share, some of you guys are gonna be up 15, you're gonna be sitting on $15 book value contracts that you might get. Again, I'm not saying you will, just saying you might. You might get them at 50 cents or less and you got $15 contracts. Well, there you have it. There's a 30 times your money deal. Put in two grand, turn it into 60,000. Put in five grand, turn it into 150,000 bucks. You could make 30 times your money. You could make more. I'm not saying you can't, I'm not saying you will, I'm just saying you could. It's my opinion. This deal is going to go a lot higher. This stock is heavily shorted for a SPAC. It is right now sitting on 24 million short shares, a uh, short position of only 80 million in existence. The shorters are going to get their butts handed to them. They're already scrambling to cover now. They started covering Friday afternoon in, in a panic. Uh, they're going to continue on. Do not be surprised if these shares this week break 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks this week. Don't be surprised. This story is about to become common knowledge. The stock, SoFi stock, once merged, will trade 10, 20 million sh shares a day every day. It'll become a very popular trader on the New York Stock Exchange. This company is going to get global exposure to investors who have no idea who this is. They, they, they do not know. This company is well known in certain regions of this country, specifically Los Angeles, California range, I believe New York, but California, it is known. SoFi Stadium, uh, where the Rams play football, is named after. This, this company sponsored it. This is not a junior little online banking thing that might have 200,000 in sales. This is multi-billion. This is a multi-billion dollar company now. It's going public through a SPAC because it's the quickest, easiest, uh, uh, well, uh, you know, the deal that these guys want, they have total control of this public company upon listing. Uh, most of the shares that are going to be handed out to the, to the company insiders of SoFi will be restricted from trading. The only shares that can trade on the market are approximately, I'm guessing, 80 million shares that are out there now. Kind of like GameStop, about 80 million, where GameStop is 73 million, 83 million shares of this thing are going to trade. And it's 1728 on the pre-market right now. And, and I predict that uh, between now and by the time it closes, this thing will be 25 to 30 bucks a share. And it could well do that this week, but I'm just saying the next month or so. And then once public <clears throat> and they reveal all of their activities and the, the bank charter is approved and all this, while well, all this is happening simultaneously, look for 50 bucks a share in no time. And the whisper rumor already is 400 a share. That's the whisper rumor of its upside potential. So 1727, uh, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. Um, it's not going to 10 bucks. This SPAC 
is no, not going to be a SPAC in about three and a half weeks. It'll be SoFi Financial, and it's going to be a market darling. And I, I you watch CNBC, my TV over here. You watch my TV over here. They're going to be in the on CNBC every day, every day, and uh, there'll be all kinds of analysts coming out with reports. The big Wall Street boys are going to be writing reports because the Wall Street firms want to invest in this company. They want in. They already they're already putting 1.9 billion in there, about a billion of which is coming from Wall Street, and that's a taste of what to come because these guys, I believe, could have raised five billion more, but they said no. We just we'll just we'll just go with 1.9 billion. Thank you to start, and we'll talk to you about secondary financing later. Yeah. At about 40 to 60 bucks a share, they might start talking or they might start talking about issuing bonds from for this company. They'll issue bonds, not convertible into stock. I doubt they'll probably issue bonds that will pay one, one and a half percent. And I can see them raising 10, 15 billion like that. No, problem. but the bank charter. Wide open, absolutely wide open. This is this is on par like this company online, an online bank will do the kind of business um, commercially like with retail investors like you, like retail customers. So they'll offer, like now, student loans, car loans, mortgages, house loans. They'll, they have a brokerage division, online broke trading. That will continue on. Uh, but they'll also do, um, I think this company will be a, 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 a fundraising company. This company will raise money for other companies to go public. This is, an, this is an instrument, this is a machine that will raise cash for other publicly traded stocks. This is this can become an investment broker, an investment banking company. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, uh, and many, many others. Not of that value, but of that business. And this is ground floor. You guys are not being asked to pay 145 bucks a share yet for this stock. You're not going in on an IPO. You're getting in on a SPAC ground floor, pre-IPO, pre-market awareness at at this moment in time, those who are watching me here, there's 1,400 of you here, there's nobody here. You 1,400, um, you are reflective of what is going to happen. Um, this channel will eventually get 10,000 views a day because of SoFi. That's how many people are going to be watching me every day because I'm going to be talking about this a lot. You 1,400 are here now and you're aware of what's going on. That is market-wide right now. Uh, 10 to 15% of the stock market actually knows what's going on with this deal. The rest of the market, 85% of the market, oblivious, haven't got a clue. And that includes a bunch of brokers. I'll bet you a bunch of you folks were to call your investment advisor today, if you even have one, and you were to ask them about this deal, they wouldn't know what you're talking about. Or they would immediately dismiss it as a, as a highly speculative SPAC and they would just want to talk to you about their in-house mutual funds. They will not know. A, a, one in 10 will know anything about this deal. Nine in 10 won't have a clue. They will be reluctantly dragged into the room by the market, which is you, uh, to to know and be aware of this deal. But right now they're clueless, and uh, that's why you need uh, you need your own sources for for your best deals. And here you go. So here's Uncle Bruce telling you, pick this stuff up and uh, get your hands on these contracts, or these option contracts, as well as the stock. Buy both. Uh, the stock has no time limit for success, but the the options do have a time limit. But give yourself six months to a year to a year and a half. Buy contracts that are way out there in time. And uh, don't be afraid to buy 20s or 21s or 22s or 23s. Don't, don't even worry about it. The stock <clears throat> combined company has an estimated value between $20 and $27 a share. Now, according to analysts, I'm telling you, there will not be enough stock available for everyone to get into it when everyone figures out what this is happening, what's happening with this thing. There will not be enough stock available, which means, of course, shortage of paper like real estate. You got a house in the neighborhood, and there's 20 bidders. Guess what happens to the house price? It goes up. Well, that's what's going to happen here. This thing's going to be bid up crazy, and the shorters are going to add fuel to the fire as of today and this week. They're going to try to cover before the deal even is closed. So you have a limited opportunity to jump in at a nice price, but I, I think you could buy this stock for the next three months and make money on it. At whatever trades at just so you know that's my opinion that's my situation it's 1735 right now it's up five percent in the pre-market right now closed at 1651 on friday it's at 1735 now it's up 84 cents and it's traded 200,000 shares in the pre-market a spac is traded 200,000 in the pre-market uh because of what's what i'm talking to you about the the there are others who know this story but it's a minority of the street 
there you go. Um, govern yourselves accordingly. <laughs> I think we're going to have some fun this week. Um, <clears throat> never a dull moment. Over at uh, GameStop, our other our other market darling, uh, 161.99, just around 162 a share. Um, volume very quiet, 15,600. Um, no announcement yet. Nothing official that I can tell you about. <clears throat> what I find uh, <clears throat> frustrating, excuse me, what I find frustrating about GameStop is that when I look at news announcements, like I look, I look for news announcements regarding GameStop. I, I, I'm always on the search for, you know, any analyst or, or a blogger or somebody to say something about GameStop. And what frustrates me about it is that the search engines out there that are, are employed, they will show you a story. If you, if you enter a search term GameStop or symbol GME or both, you will get stories that have nothing to do with GameStop. But you'll get the result because the name or the word GameStop is inside the article. And the article might have something to do with uh, uh, maybe uh, Dogecoin or Dogecoin trading activity, uh, all about cryptocurrency. But um, the, the writer, you know, the, the, the actual poster will use keywords like GameStop and like AMC and uh, other hot stock names to get kicked up in search results. So they'll just say, uh, you know, uh, another crazy market, uh, you know, like uh, another crazy market happened this week, including GameStop hearings in Congress, but it's all about Dogecoin. Well, the whole story is about Dogecoin, but they got the word GameStop in there. So it pops up in search results. So I'll look for stories on GameStop and I'll see stories that have nothing to do with it because there are writers out there using the GameStop name as a way to get clickbait, to get search results, to get views for whatever they're spewing. Uh, very few articles are actually about GameStop. And there are no articles that I can see <clears throat> that accuse <clears throat> GameStop insiders, executives, the company, of being a manipulative uh, group of people uh, that have hoodwinked investors or have done anything illegal or improper anywhere ever. There is nothing out there like that. But you watch CNBC, you watch, you read uh, the Wall Street Journal, you read the New York Times, you read, C you watch, see a headline on CNN. Whenever you see headlines on all these other publications and the word GameStop appears, nine times out of 10, GameStop is being connected to nefarious activity of some kind, but it's not GameStop that's doing it. It is nefarious activity of <clears throat> maybe market manipulation or short squeezes or, or conspiracy theories of short squeezing and all this. And they use the word GameStop as part of their little shtick to suck you in, to clickbait you in. And it's extremely frustrating as a, as a follower of GameStop to go, you know, they just won't stop. They just will not stop this relentless uh, attack on the stock, which, of course, uh, you know, uh, doesn't paint GameStop in the best light, you know, in the marketplace. And many of you who follow me closely, you know the real story on GameStop. You, you know, you know the corporate side of the story on GameStop. And uh, <clears throat> you are all, um, I think you're all aware of the fact that the corporate moves coming up and the announcements we're expecting CEO first quarter financials, the, the annual meeting, which is now 29 days away. You know, it's all coming up and there's going to be a lot of <clears throat> new press on GameStop itself, actual news on GameStop. Uh, but even last week, you know, we had a credit rating upgrade from S&P. They announced a brand new fulfillment center in York, Pennsylvania. Did you see coverage of that information widespread in the media? No. But did you see the word GameStop used everywhere in the media? Yes. You do, and you still do. And uh, the only thing that's taken GameStop off of the top pages the last four or five days, Elon Musk's appearance on Saturday Night Live. And what I find pathetic is <clears throat> you'll look at the, uh, like CNBC, for example, because of course they're owned by NBC, they have the rights to footage from Saturday Night Live. They can use clips. And they're using clips of Elon Musk on the show. And these guys are so lazy or underfunded or not willing to spend money on research and due diligence anymore that they're now looking, they're now trying to give us clickbait information about the markets. And uh, they're now utilizing 
um, his appearance on the show, little clips about Dogecoin and what have you, to fill their airway with with meaningful information. It is really sad. Uh, this network is falling off the rails when it comes to credibility, left, right, and center. It's pathetic. Uh, Steve uh, Ra Rallis, thank you, Steve Rallis, for becoming a member of this channel. I just see you here. I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, fantastic. I don't want to be critical of CNBC. I, I, I like a lot about the network. I really do. I like, there are a number of people that are on that network I really respect. And I, I enjoy their commentary and I find it enlightening and interesting and it's researched and it's professional. But there's also this, uh, unfortunately, there are what I would call uh, entertainment directors in CNBC and in all news media. Just this is not just CNBC. So is, is any any of your favorite stations, I don't care who your station is, what network you love. There are entertainment people inside these news divisions. And uh, they're going for the hokey story. They're going for the quirky story. They're going for the whatever to just try to get eyeballs to watch so that they can, you know, rank up in the ratings with Nielsen ratings. And then they can soak the advertisers ridiculous rates for a 30 second ad or a one minute ad to try to suck you guys into, you know, doing whatever they want you to do, buying whatever they want you to buy. We're all guilty of, of self-promotion. I, I plead guilty. I mean, I have my cell phone amplifiers and we got our coffee mugs and stuff. I do it, uh, but CNBC are, are, um, and other news outlets, they go to every extreme possible, including the, we'll be right back with the shaking of the keys, shiny keys. We'll be right back with the story about blah. And then, you know, five minutes of commercials, a station break and another five minutes of commercials. And then you finally get a 30 second story that has not, that is a fluff story. And you realize, what am I waiting around for this crap for? Are you wasting, uh, these are five minutes I'll never get back. And there you go. But this is the history of television. Do I need to tell you that? Let's go on to something else. All right. Um, what I am noticing uh, and what I am beginning to pick up uh, more and more and more, and it's becoming very obvious, um, and I hope many of you are figuring this out on your own, or you are aware of this, but you aren't as aware of it. You're not aware of it like I'm about to make you aware of it. All right. How about that? There's something going on out there that a lot of you are you know. But I don't quite I don't quite know if you really get it of, of just how serious this is. And I'm I'm gonna gonna try to cover this as best I can. By the way, S. Mueller, uh, thank you for joining the channel. I don't know where if you're from Deutschland. Guten Tag, guten Morgen, uh, guten Abend, whatever time it is over there. Uh, uh, willkommen, bienvenue, and thank you for joining this channel as a as a member. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. We have we have around the world we have members joining this channel around the world. Europeans. Asia, Canada, North America, the Caribbean, uh, South America, I mean, everywhere. It's incredible. And I'm so um, humbled by the fact that so many of you from around the world are watching me, listening to me, and you're telling me um, in many ways how you enjoy what I do, including private emails that I get a lot of, and also these one-on-one -on -one sessions we have. Um, every Saturday and Sunday, I do one-hour sessions um, with some of my viewers. I have about four slots available on Saturdays and four on Sundays. So I put in four hours of time each day, plus the prep time and you know, overage time and everything else. So I'm working seven days a week. Um, but the Saturdays and Sundays is the kind of work I really like. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun where I get to meet and hang out with some of you folks on a one on one basis for an hour. And it is absolutely fantastic. Andreas, Andreas, I'll thank you for for joining us welcome welcome to the channel another, another member three, three members in 15 minutes thank you so much for joining us um love these one hour sessions uh if you'd like to have a one hour hangout with yours truly a, a private scenario i set it up right here on on this channel and uh, i split the screen i sit over here you're sitting over there and it's on a private mode it's just us and we hang out and talk for an hour and uh and a lot of you have uh already now seen me visit with me twice and some of you want to visit me a third time which which i'm you know, just blown away by that um but we we get a chance to know each other a little more i, I get a i get a handle on where you're at where you're from I, and a lot of you are reaching out to me and saying i can't find an advisor that i trust or i like or every time i talk to one of these financial advisors they're trying to sell me something and i don't want to buy what they're pushing I'm just not interested. And I would really like to get some independent one-on-one -on -one time with someone who, who, whose opinion I'd like to hear. And I am just 
blown away by that. By the way, Marco, thank you for joining this channel as well. Uh, I try to reach, I try to give a shout out to everybody that joins this channel as best I can. And, and I might miss some of you and I apologize. Thank you, Marco, for coming on board. And Frankie, Frankie Alvarado, thanks for popping in, joining up. Uh, appreciate this. What is that? Five memberships in 10 minutes? It's unbelievable. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you enjoy the emojis. You're going to be welcomed by the gang here. You can make comments to us. Uh, I love it. I also do alerts uh, for just sponsor members, for these members. I do alerts uh, from time to time on various stocks that I follow or whatever it is you need to know, especially between live shows. You'll get alerts. Sometimes I'll add a new stock to my favorite list. Members get first dips. You'll find out at least 24 to 48 hours in advance of anyone else in the big world what my new favorite stock is to give you a heads up. And so those of you who are joining this channel, thank you and welcome. And uh, and again, I appreciate this. Uh, uh, Jennifer just, she's still stunned. <laughs> Since January, uh, Jennifer is going, I can't believe all these, all these people like you. <laughs> and I go, well, they like you. Uh, they, they actually like they tolerate me, but they really like you, Jen. So, you know, my Jennifer Aniston lookalike wife is is the star of this show, of this channel. And you don't get to see her very often. I know that occasionally I'll pop her photo up for you. That, you know, we're out. We're always out uh, out and about in Creston having a great time. We go to movie premieres and we go to nightclubs out here. And, you know, we go to dancing clubs. And, uh, you know, you know we're, we're, we're unbelievably famous here locally. Here we are again. You know, we're just out and about. The paparazzi are waiting everywhere in downtown Creston. They're all over the place. I mean, there's just nowhere safe we can go. I mean, heck, you know, we were we were out the other day looking at a strip mall, maybe picking up a opening up a new bagels by bruce location you know maybe we would try this business and people just could not help but catch us i mean th there's the kind of clothes we wear all day ran all day long the clothes you see on the air that i wear it's just me hanging out casually but once we're out of the house this is what we wear jennifer that's her you know going out for a grocery outfit you know she likes to she likes to be cool and uh you know, she knows that she's going to bump into fans and they're going to want her autograph and talk to her about her career. I mean, you know, my Jennifer Aniston look like wife. What can I say? It's it just is what it is. As she's the star of this show. She's the star of this channel. And uh, those of you who have become members here, you, you, you know what it's all about. It's all about Jen. Um, and uh, she's just so kind to me to make me a bagel in the morning and help me get through the day. Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're doing the best we can with what we got. All right. Well, let me, let me get back to something serious. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Um, what you know, but you might not really get it. And this weekend, it should have hit home. And if it's not hitting home, it'll hit home this morning. Because what is one of the big headlines going on right now? There's a pipeline in the United States that most of you have never heard of. I believe it's a colonial pipeline or whatever that word is, colonial named after an oil and gas or a company of some kind, energy company, the Colonial Pipeline, which runs kind of from Texas, Louisiana, the Gulf State region where all those refineries are, and kind of meanders up through uh, Louisiana and uh, Georgia and the Carolinas and goes all the way up to the Northeast. And uh, I think 40%, something like 40% of all the refined uh, fuels uh, for the uh, east coast of the United States and the uh, the southeast and the northeast, with all these branch lines coming off of this thing, emanate or originate from this pipeline. This pipeline has been virtually shut down, almost, almost for a while entirely, and now spotty. And uh, this is a national security problem. This is this is not a little oil and gas issue. This isn't a little oh you know, Joe Schmuck oil and gas is having problems with their oil with their oil. No. This isn't one of those little Oklahoma oil companies. This is um, this is the kind of problem the President of the United States gets briefed on. This is the kind of stuff that hits national briefing desks. Uh, the FBI is aware of it. The CIA is aware of it. The military is aware of it. This is this is serious poop. Real serious poop. When this eight baby hits eighty eight miles an hour, you're going to see some serious poop. Um, this is not good. This is a cyber attack. We have, what we have here from reports we're getting, and you're only gonna get a fraction of what's really happening because again, this is serious stuff. There, there has been a, an attack on this pipeline's integrity and its reliability and its ability to function. And the, the operator of the pipeline has smartly uh, and correctly 
um, um, uh, shut it down in certain areas where they're not we're sure of its reliability and are trying to get everything up and running again. How long has this going, been going on? We don't really know. We've been given indication it started on the weekend. Could have been going on for two weeks already with spotty inter 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 interruptions, but only lately has it become news. My guess is that uh, that uh, this has been going on for weeks, and uh, uh, you've noticed lately your oil and gas prices have been going up. Your, your pump prices at the gas pump, not just in the last week, but you've noticed it over the last month now. You've noticed it. Oil hasn't gone to eighty bucks a barrel. It's at sixty three, sixty four. Uh, it's not the oil price problem it's not the saudis creating a shortage or anything like that now reason your oil and gas is going up in particular your gas prices is because of this pipeline and all the ramifications around it and um, uh, in case you don't know uh, the united states is at war and you don't know it uh, or you're going to know it now uh, you're, you're the country's at war it's an undeclared war it's not a you know one of those speeches in front of a parliament or anything like that it's not a declaration but you're at war and uh, there are countries out there who are um, more than happy to, cr to create all kinds of mayhem. Um, and if they can find the soft underbelly of a country and hold it hostage or find a way to, let's say, hold companies hostage that are um, of importance to the national security of a country, even better. Because you don't have to uh, attack a government facility, you just attack a private company, make it look like a cyber attack on a private company. But in reality, what you're doing is you're mucking up the reliability of, of fuel sources, of energy, uh, you're mucking up the transportation systems. You're, we're talking about a pipeline that moves jet fuel, not just for airports. They talk about airports on the news. What they don't talk about is they're moving jet fuel, fuel to military bases. <laughs> they don't talk about that. Uh, so the Air Force is affected. There's fuel that's affected for trucking, for passenger cars, civilian and government and military. Um, we're talking about distilled products. Uh, so highly refined distilled products that uh, are not as um, commonly talked about, but we're talking about all kinds of chemicals. We're talking about fertilizer. We're talking about medicine production. We're talking the whole enchilada here. The the oil and gas business, as much as the tree huggers want to slam it, there is a serious importance to the oil and gas business far beyond just throwing a, a, a gallon of unleaded into our tank or a gallon of diesel into a truck tank. There's far more to it than that. It, it covers so many other industries, dozens and dozens and dozens. And <laughs> at the end of the day, many, many countries um, rely on this this basic commodity to to fuel so much of their of their lifestyle of the Western world lifestyle. We're all getting bombarded every day in the press and and through uh, certain uh, groups from time to time about how important it is to drive electric cars or what a great idea it is to go electric <clears throat> and get our electricity from the sun and get our electricity from wind and get our electricity from hydro like we always have and and some out there who say we should be nuclear you know um there's you know get away from coal and get away from burning raw oil or b bunker fuel oil get away from, even from burning natural gas go clean clean really clean right yeah that, that's all good but um doing that does not does not still allow you to make fertilizer or allow you to do plastics, or allow you to make drugs, or allow you to, pr to produce all kinds of other goods and services from the oil patch that the spin-off effects have. Um, so there will always be an oil and gas business. It's just a question of how, um, how much of it is used, <clears throat> and how it's refined, and how it is altered. And uh, <clears throat> is it more efficient to utilize raw oil and gas, oil, condensate, to produce a gallon of gas or is it more important to take fuel and produce uh you know like the cover for this telephone for example or or um, or other goods and materials that we use that we don't burn in other words um and there's the argument and it's everyone has their opinion and the experts are all over the map and then there are the paid lobbyists and away we go it's a big business it's not going away this pipeline this is a this is a salvo that the American public is being exposed to 
in a big way right now. It's 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 being talked about. Normally something like this doesn't make headlines. It's just kind of a, a regional thing. It's just a regional little outage for a few days and then it gets resolved and no one gives a crap about it. But we're we're I'm a, I'm a member of the public, so are you. I'm not an American. I'm in Canada, but you Americans out there, those of you overseas, you want to know that America is under ta- under attack, and it is always under attack. And there are cyber criminals everywhere in the world, some of whom are sponsored by governments, big time, and governments who are in competition with the United States for whatever the competition might be, whether it's for actual land territory, economic dominance. Uh, just to you know, keep the Americans off their game, whatever the, the 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 thinking, you know, some some of it is religious, some of it is political, some of it is territorial, some of it is economic. It runs the gamut. It runs the gamut. Um, but these cyber attacks are are happening um, at an unbelievable rate, and uh, um, the Western world, not just the USA. But the Western world, so I'll include all G20 countries, which means Europe, Asian countries that have democracies, uh, 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 Mideast, uh, uh, South America, North America, is under attack by the cyber groups, criminals, organizations, whatever you want to call them. And many are funded with unlimited money by their national governments. And they, the national governments claim to know nothing because they're secretly funding them. And uh, these entities are working on behalf of the competitors of the United States, whether they're military or economic. And um, America is under attack all over the place. We've heard about this uh, for years. Uh, Clinton talked about it back in, in 97, 98, 99. Uh, back, uh, George Bush, the senior, a little bit. But Clinton definitely talked about it in, in the early 90s, the mid-90s, up until he left office. Uh, Obama talked about it. George Bush talked about it. Uh, uh, others have talked about this, and it's it's been it's been it's a known fact, but it is now becoming, where I see it as not an attack necessarily on, oh we're going to go after this uh, school board, we're going to screw up their uh, test results, or we're going to go after the town of such and such in in Ohio, or the town of so and so in Wyoming, or wherever these cities are. We're hearing about hospitals being attacked. We're hearing about. Uh, you know, you, electric companies are, are under attack here and there. We're hearing about this stuff. It happens in Europe, too. And it happens elsewhere. Um, uh, but it is becoming more and more of a national security issue. And uh, uh, do not um, underestimate it, because uh, if it becomes really widespread and really uh, compounding, you get 50 attacks on the same pipeline infrastructure or the U.S. electrical grid infrastructure, simultaneously from around the world from 15 different countries at the same time that's a world war that's what that is it's a world it's a world digital war but it's a world war and it is meant to disrupt everything and uh, for those of you out there who are wondering about well what could cause the market to crash you know bruce because i I get this asked by my one-on-one viewers all the time Uh, what what do you think the market's going to do in the next six months to a year or two years what about interest rates what about inflation what about this what about that and I keep bringing back to this this channel to you as viewers. I keep bringing back to your attention the supply side disruption that we're facing, that we're seeing. It's happening in Canada. It's happening everywhere, not just here in in the U.S., North America. It's everywhere. The big one we hear about a lot: computer chip shortage. I, I sit back and go my, say to myself, "How can that? How can that be possible? How can there be a computer chip shortage when?" There have been more than enough computer chips for the last 30 years to supply everyone's needs. I mean, did you hear about a car shortage four years ago ever? Did you ever hear about dishwashers and stoves being three months back ordered five years ago? I mean, come on. And stoves and fridges have been getting smarter every year, but they haven't changed in the last six months to become supercomputers. I mean, they're not that different than they were two years ago. So what's going on here? Why is it that the world has the world has a computer chip shortage when there are computer companies all over the world it's not like they're all located in cincinnati ohio they're everywhere um maybe they should all be con- in cincinnati maybe that's where they could come from um you got to wonder how is this possible that the europeans have got this problem asians have this problem all these countries in asia have the problem chinese companies have got computer chip problems like even these guys these guys 
I mean, come on, they can build a hospital in a week for 10,000 patients that have COVID. How can China have computer chip problems? I mean, what is going on here? I understand that the COVID was a nasty problem and there were issues, but really uh, computer chip manufacturing plants that are kind of automated to a huge degree. I mean, the number of people inside a computer chip plant versus the output of said computer chip plant compared to a factory from 40 years ago manufacturing automobiles in Detroit, Michigan versus the, there's way fewer people cranking out computer chips versus computers uh, and robots. I mean, it's automated, right? But yet can't keep up. Auto, uh, robots can go 24-7. Uh, skeletal crew can keep robots going 24-7 around the world. Uh, so, you know, Cyberdyne systems should not be having trouble delivering computer chips, but they are. It's 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 unbelievable and it's everywhere. Um, even Apple is talking about delivery issues. They're having supply chain problems at Apple, which of course, when you have a computer chip problem at Ford and GM and elsewhere, I've mentioned this earlier, everybody has a problem down the line. The windshield guys are told to hold off windshields because we're not building enough trucks this week that we normally would build or cars. Uh, the tire guys, uh, you know, Firestone, Goodyear, hold off. We don't, you know, we don't need uh, 300,000 tires a week anymore. We need 150,000 tires a week for the next several weeks as we work through these supply issues. We can't, we can't build out the cars, the trucks, the vehicles fully until all the parts go into the vehicle in order, in sequence. There's, a, there's an assembly line here. Um, and so the last of what we're doing, you know, those last 20 steps that the car has, the interiors I hold off, the dashboards, there's chip chips in the dashboards. We can't put the dashboards in. We can't finish the dashboards. We can't finish the memory for your, your seat memory chip. We can't, we can't finish the, we don't have chips for the climate control system. We don't have chips for the engine monitoring system. On and on and on it goes. So it's from the engine to the transmission to the to the uh, uh, climate control in your car or truck to to everything else. I mean, heated seats and cooled seats and um, every option you can imagine that has been added in the last thirty years. All computer chips, memory. Uh, you, you gotta you gotta have it. And these cars are getting more and more complicated and getting more sophisticated and getting smarter. Uh, self-diagnosis issues and on and on it goes. There's factories who are shut down all over the place. Now we're seeing and we're going to see the possibility of slowdowns in the secondary supply side. So the tire guys might have layoffs. The windshield guys could have layoffs. The uh, the uh, producers of dashboards, the producers of car seats, the producers of the carpeting for your car, um, the bed liner guys. It goes on and on and on. And then you go to the dealership level and you'll notice that at your dealership, there's a lot fewer vehicles at your dealership because one, there's a huge demand as people are coming out of our cocoons back to the open world. And number two, they can't get the product. And uh, people are coming to the dealer going, yeah, I want to get a brand new uh, Ford F-150 with every bell and whistle imaginable because I've been saving up a bunch of money this last year and a half by not leaving the house. And the dealer's going, that's great. I got nothing. And uh, what, when can I get a truck? Don't know. What do you mean? Can't I just put an order in? No, you can't put an order in because we don't know. Because Ford doesn't know. We don't know. Uh, I'll take your name and number down. I'll call you, text you as soon as I know. But that's all I can do for you. And you go to every other dealer in town, it's the same thing. They're all out. Uh, there's vehicles on the lot. It's it's one-tenth of what's available, one-twenty, maybe one-fifth. But no, not there. And so I wonder about the, the effect going out from that. And with these attacks, these cyber attacks, to add to the misery, which are, you got to hope what's happening. And again, we'll never know this. We'll see it in the movie one day. Uh, Hollywood will show us. But one day Hollywood will show us how cyber attacks are being handled by um, clandestine government organizations, certain intelligence organizations. By the way, Mr. Boston, Mr. Boston number six is in the house. We got Massachusetts here. We're set. We're, we're, this channel is set for life. We got, we got Boston watching. We got Chicago watching. I got New York watching. This channel isn't going anywhere. Uh, thank you, Mr. Boston and everyone from Boston. And as always, God bless Bobby Orr and Larry Bird. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, if this continues out, this cyber attack and everything else, this could affect the market. 
This is what people ask me. Well, what could upset the markets? What could be it? And I, I keep coming back to, there could be one thing. Yeah, there could be an event, but it's likely it's going to be more than an event, a single event. It's likely going to be a combination of factors that will cascade into a world of problems. The good news, all right, I'll give you the good news. Um, if the automotive area slows up with all the suppliers, but they're not out of business, they're just running on 80% efficiency instead of 100% efficiency, and that cascades into other industries out there, the pent up demand for business will continue to grow and build and build and build. And there will be people who, for example, who want to get a new truck, who um, are saving and they're able to save right now because they're not out there like before they you know spending way money they hadn't got or borrowing money on credit cards they hadn't they shouldn't be borrowing credit card balances are going down savings rates are going up this will this will then continue which means so much money is available for borrowing uh mortgages car loans uh, you name it money will remain cheap so the the stress on interest rates there isn't one because the economy at 80 percent efficiency is an under utilized economy and all the capital available is not being utilized and that means too much money looking for deals cheap money that's one which keeps inflation down because people won't have pricing power they they think they have pricing power because they're going to raise their prices on their goods but they don't have the goods to sell anyway so they're really not going to do that they're going to want to maintain market share they have by keeping their prices in check there are unfortunately and in reality prices going up in steel and copper and, and agricultural goods and lumber and we, we all know that but uh, uh the pricing the ability to add the pricing on easily is not so simple it, it it's being done here and there but it's being done in a moderate kind of a way but um uh, what could up, upset the market longer term like i said is companies that are supposed to be operating at 110 percent you know full bore are operating at 75 to 80 percent and they're going to come in with earnings that are going to miss projections they have the reason why they have the excuse they have a good excuse it's not even their fault it's it's that kind of an excuse it's like we missed our projections but it's not our fault why we missed our projections that kind of reaction um but unfortunately the stocks that are represented by these companies are going to be under pressure and this is an issue that's it's going to come up uh, so watch for that we've already heard inklings of uh, uh some some uh, new uh, uh, price targets for stocks starting to come out where uh, the Amazons of the world, for example, the experts are saying they might have a good quarter coming up, but the one after that will be a miss or will be much less than lately because lately was abnormal, abnormally good. But in six months, it might be a reflective of the new normal. We're getting back out there again. And um, I want a barbecue, uh, I can go to Costco and buy one now, or I can go to Target and buy one. I'm allowed into the store without lining up outside, or I don't have to wear a mask anymore to do my errands and running around. I, I'm going to get my stuff. Uh, Amazon will still do very well with home delivery, more better now than they did a year ago, two years ago. It's a growing business and it's grown dramatically and will not give it all back but it can't keep up the breakneck pace. Apple's earnings may be an anomaly for the last quarter and maybe this coming quarter. They might have like three quarters in a row that are just blow the doors off the year before quarters, but going forward after that, it could be a little more moderation. And there could be disappointment for investors because investors have become addicted to Uber performance. They've become addicted to um, a company better produce 20% growth in earnings or they are a failure. That is not normal. That is abnormal performance, and the pros are going to know going in, do not expect 40% growth every quarter upon quarter uh, going forward. It's just not, it's not feasible. It's not going to happen. There has to be a moderation, and there will be a sort of a spreading out of the business over the entire economy again. So mom and pop shops, hopefully, will be open everywhere. Um, hopefully, a lot of them will come back and will try to reopen. Um, and uh, that'll spread the dollars out over a much greater, you know, footprint of businesses. Um, but uh, uh, that's good for the overall economy, good for hiring, good for, for local economies, and demand for vehicles will continue on. Uh, people will be back at work. And um, um, some folks who have taken this opportunity to upgrade themselves while they've been out of their day jobs, 
the hope I have is for many people out there who were sort of stuck in uh, hourly paid jobs on a part-time basis because they couldn't get full-time pay, you know, from any employer because of you know, the benefit game that companies play. Hopefully, a bunch of these folks who've been played, paid unemployment to survive and give up, maybe they've taken online courses to upgrade themselves while they've been offline for over a year. And there are folks who are a year into a two-year college program or in a year and a half into a two-year college program. And they're going to come out of this uh, in six months or a year from now with a degree in whatever it is that doesn't pay 12 bucks an hour anymore, eight bucks an hour anymore. They've just upgraded themselves dramatically. Now they are part of the solution to this economy. Uh, they are going to be much larger taxpayers going forward because they're not going to earn fifteen to thirty thousand dollars a year anymore. They're going to start to earn fifty to eighty thousand a year and higher going forward. And that means they're going to buy a vehicle. They're going to look at housing. They're going to look at new furniture. They're going to you know take a trip. And good for the U.S. economy. Amer richer Americans is a good thing for America. Really good for the world. Good thing. Uh, Americans spend money. Americans are spenders when they got it. And so, yeah, let's make Americans rich. And uh, uh, if uh, if the uh, the uh, uh, government programs can keep coming out that that support American business and American hiring, even better. Uh, that puts more fuel on the fire. But keep in mind that the United States and Canada and the G20 countries we're all at war right now, and it's a silent, invisible enemy run in some kind of bucket shop somewhere, and. I really wonder when we're going to start hearing or noticing that, uh, you know, cyber attacks used to come from this region of the world and they've stopped miraculously, mysteriously, they've just stopped all of a sudden because they've been infiltrated. And um, uh, it could be that it's going to take international infiltration of, uh, of uh, cyber attackers um, where the country that was protecting them can't protect them anymore because some of these groups are independent of the government. They're, uh, they're organized groups, but they could be vulnerable to attack. Uh, who knows what? All kinds of undercover James Bond kind of stuff. Um, do not be surprised if that's happening right now. And we're not hearing about it. Uh, we don't hear much about it. Unfortunately, there are probably thousands of groups like this all over the place. And it's like whack-a-mole. You knock this group off and another one pops up or 15 more and you just keep going after them. But the, the intelligence communities will just say, well, it's one at a time. We just go after them one at a time. We make it so expensive to be in business. We make it so we make it so in, in inconvenient to be in this line of work that a lot of folks will say, I'm not going to I'm not going to operate that kind of a business. I, I don't like the potential consequences of what I'm doing because my country can't protect me from some outside forces that might come and get me or could affect me in other ways. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. Anyway, it's uh, down and dirty, it's nasty, and it's real, and it's happening, and we're going to keep an eye on all of it as best we can as the end economy and everything else that we're following. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for uh, hanging out with me here. 2,192 of you are here. Welcome. Good morning. It's Monday morning, the 10th of May. Uh, we're about seven minutes away from the opening. Uh, the Dow looks like it'll be positive. 107 points on the uh, on the pre-market. S&P up two points right now, kind of quiet. Uh, NASDAQ showing a 56-point loss. No big deal there, but it is a loss. Uh, crude is up 51 cents. It's not uh, not five dollars higher because of this pipeline problem. It's 50 cents higher because in a in a funny kind of way, um, if the pipeline is screwed up for a while, then refiners will refineries will need less crude because they can't process it to ship it. They can't get it in the pipelines to get it out. And so they're going to take less in. They're going to be operating at a lower uh, efficiency. That actually means oil goes down in value because there's more oil sitting on tankers around the world that can't offload their fuel. Uh, there's oil, oil will be everywhere. It'll be just the world will drown in oil again. This could have an, a negative effect on the price of oil. On the other hand, refined gasoline might go up in value because there's a scarcity of it. It's, it's one of these, well, we got, we got all the oil we want, but we can't get the refined gasoline and all the other distillates to where we need it to go. And so those prices have gone up because of shortages. But then there's your friends in Canada uh, who are sitting on a ton of this stuff um, and who are more than happy to export all you want from here to there. The problem, of course, is the groups that don't want pipelines going across international borders 
And so you've got these issues. And so it's it's kind of funny how in Western Canada, the, the, the Western Canadians are just going, we can't win. Uh, we, we got this stuff. We, re, we help refine it. Uh, we can move it through pipelines if only they allow us to lay them down. Uh, pipelines don't rupture unless they're, you know, 50 years old. Uh, and even if they do rupture, they were so sophisticated, we catch the rupture in five minutes and we clean it up and then we get back to work. But a trail derailment, derailment happens all the time with, with fuel tankers everywhere in the world all the time. Uh, trucks explode all the time around the world. Uh, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're really volatile ways to move this stuff. Pipelines is the safest way to go. Uh, but we can't catch a break. We, we can't. We can't lay a pipeline down anywhere. We can't even do it in Canada because we've got all these groups in Canada stopping Canadians from, from doing it too. It's incredible how um, in North America and in Canada, how incredibly good we are at screwing each other. It's incredible how good we are at this. And the, the legal profession is, is perfected itself to the point where the advocates and the op opposition are, are lawyered up and uh, the courts are going, wow, we've got, we got smart lawyers on both sides of this argument. Who do you, who do you go with? It's incredible what money can buy. And uh, there are a lot of folks out there who, you know, they're there to oppose other folks for whatever the reasons. Uh, again, there's good reasons and bad reasons for everything. I get it. I love that uh, documentary about Garth Brooks that I saw. Um, if you've ever seen it, it's a two-parter about Garth Brooks and his life. And he talks about his, the influence of his father on his, on his life. And his father said to him, you know, for every reaction, where everything that goes this way can go this way, there's always an action and a reaction. And uh, a pipeline is a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. And oil and gas can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. You have to go with this and you have to accept it. Welcome to the modern world, first world problems. Here we are. What can I say? Uh, again, thank you all of you who are here. The new members this morning have joined already. You guys are blowing my mind. Thank you so much for joining this channel, becoming members of this family uh, where we, uh, we are very respectful to each other. We try to keep it PG rated. We uh, encourage each other and we welcome each other to the club. You get to use emojis and, and, and make your point. I love you guys. And again, those of you who are members, you will receive from time to time alerts from yours truly at any time of the day or night. Uh, was there something going on that you need to, be, need to be aware of that I can't give you because I'm not live? Stay tuned as a member. You will get bulletins. Uh, it's one of the perks of being a member of this channel. I appreciate that. And also, once in a while, I will send you um, a stock you may want to take a good look at for your portfolio and uh, that's another, you'll get a heads up before the, the rest of the channel gets the heads up because membership has its privileges and I support those who support Jen and I, of course. Uh, thank you all. You're all welcome. I, I know those of you just watching who are not members, you're more than welcome to be here. I hope you're enjoying the message. I hope you're enjoying the, the interest and the hopefully the plain English way I'm trying to explain what the heck is going on because there's a lot going on, guys. There is a ton of stuff going on and it's not all good. Um, so Again, thank you for, for popping in and seeing and visiting with myself. Jen will be up in a little while, and uh, we'll hear from her too. All righty, we are a minute or two away from the opening. Uh, the Dow is up 116. Kramer's talking about Walmart right now. Uh, we're up uh, 200, uh, two points on the S&P. We're down 63 on NASDAQ. Uh, that can all change in a minute uh, once we open up the trading. We'll see what's going on. On IPOE now, 1731 is the last trade on IPOE. Closed on Friday at 16.51. So it would look like the stock is up 80 cents on the pre-market at this point. That seems to be the indication. We'll watch for that. We'll follow that, obviously. Um, and we'll stay on top of what this market wants to uh, wants to give us. Um, 17.35 now uh, with a volume of 300 and approximately 19,000 shares on IPOE. Over at the, um, the uh, markets themselves, we're not yet open. We're about to open here within the last minute. The bells are about to start ringing, um, and we'll see where we where we start the day. Uh, GameStop. The last I saw on GameStop on the pre market, one sixty one seventy six up sixty four cents on a volume of twenty eight thousand shares. Quiet opening so far, but that can change in a microsecond if they tell us who their new CEO is going to be. We're waiting for that news that I think is imminent. I don't know if it's today, but I think it's imminent. Over in AMC land, good news for AMC shareholders. It's $9.93 a share on the pre-market, up about $0.42 cents 
volume of 1.3 million in the pre-market this morning. But those of you out there who own this stock, uh, if you're close to breaking even, I say way to go. Um, if you are a long-term wannabe holder of this company, you may want to take advantage of spikes like this, price spikes, to write call options against your stock and bring in premium money. Get paid to hold your stock. You're going to hold it anyway. You're going to be a long-term investor. Why don't you write one-month contracts or two-month contracts at the uh, see, 1050, 11, 1150, 12, 1250 laborhood on the exercise price. See if you can bring in a buck or a buck and a quarter a share, something like that. Use that capital to buy more shares on dips or, or just amass a cash reserve, dry powder, in case there's a serious correction on the stock and you can jump in and buy cheap paper. You're going to acquire it anyway. You're going to hold it anyway. You believe in the theater chain. Let the theater chain stock pay you to stick around. Those of you who have a thousand shares, uh, you can write 10 contracts. And if you can get a buck a share every month or so, it's a thousand bucks a month. Some of you out there have 10 or 20,000 shares. Why don't you write 100 call contracts? Write 100 uh, contracts that expire in a month. Write another or 50 in a month, 50 that expire a month later. Maybe you can bring in a buck and a quarter on average on all of it. And you know, you're bringing in 10, 11, 12,000 a month or two to, for this investment. Can you live off of 5,000 a month? Uh, you might quit your day job and just do this as a living. You can do the same, of course, with GameStop and any other stock you own. You can become an option writer if you want. Uh, you're just going to have to learn the minutiae of that. And this is where my private sessions come in really handy because with, with, you spend an hour with me one on one. By the time we finish at the end of the hour, you've got a grasp, a real grasp of what options can do for you uh, going forward for your portfolio. And uh, if you'd like to have a private session with me, send me a private email at Bruce Farmer at hotmail.com and uh, we'll set you up with a meeting as quick as we can. Here's my email address. Let me know you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. It's a $400 an hour uh, cost. It's uh, one uninterrupted hour of just us talking about just you and uh, you'll learn a lot about what's going on. This address, by the way, is available always down below in the description of all of my videos so you can always look me up. All right, let's take a look. We're open on IPOE now and the markets, uh, 1734 uh, opening trade uh, from where I see it at the moment, 1731 up 80 cents on the New York Stock Exchange, 544,000 volume on IPOE. So we're up and running. Uh, we're gonna see how the others are doing. We got GameStop right now at 160.06, down a dollar five, shot up to 161.61, down to 159.96, now one at 60, 160.40. A volume of 108,000, 109,000 shares. We have AMC right now showing a 10.05 pre-opening. So if you're thinking of writing call contracts on AMC, this it might be your chance. You might now get a nice premium for an $11 or a $12 call contract good for four to eight weeks and uh, maybe you can bring in more than a buck maybe you can bring in a buck 25 buck 40 and uh, enjoy a nice premium on your stock uh, if you get taken out at 12 with a dollar 25 premium you're you're being taken out at 1325 you just turn around buy the stock right back write contracts all over again now at 14 and 15 dollars start cashing in uh, it's available to you um, why not you take advantage of it other stocks to watch let's keep an eye on things IPOE now 1733 up 82 cents on 612,000 volume uh, GameStop 159.47 AMC 1012 uh, Gore's Holdings at 1151 down 11 cents Gore's Holdings is very close to their announcement regarding their merger with Matterport. Do not be fooled about the quietness of this stock that you are in your last days before this is public knowledge as well. Uh, VGAC at 995 down a penny. It's awful close as well with the Rich and Branson Group. We've got fifth wall acquisitions up nine cents to 1099. We have vector acquisitions up three cents to 1002. Nav site holdings up two cents to 992. Starboard up a penny to 998. And Fortress value down a penny at 999. So a lot of these are around the $10 mark. This is your entry point to get these SPACs before they they finish their merger and list and start trading as the new named company. You're down to, in some of these, I think you're down to less than 30 days um, before the notice is given. And it's it, once notice is given, all bets are off. That's why we're watching right now IPOE very closely. 17.28 up 77 cents uh, at the moment. This is the first one that is looks like it's going to pop. It's already popping. It was 14.97 
Friday afternoon. Now it is seventeen twenty-seven a share. It is on the move, and the volume is going to pick up on this stock. Um, my hunch on this stock is uh, it will it will get to the point where there will not be enough paper available for the daily volume that will be trading in this paper, and uh, that just tells me it's it's going to do an appreciation. The stock is cheap. It's a seventeen twenty-eight stock. This is not a two hundred dollars stock. This is not like. Um, Amazon at $3,200 a share. This is not Apple at $130 a share. It's not GameStop at $160 a share. You can buy multiple numbers of shares for amplification purposes here at $1,728 a share. Um, once it reaches $40, $50, obviously triple the price. You won't be able to buy as many on the amplification, but it'll start going up in $0.50 cent increments, $1 increments. How many have you got? If you've got five shares and it goes up a dollar, you've made five bucks. But if you've got 50 shares and it goes up five dollars, you're making $250. Or if, it, if you've got uh, 500 shares at a couple three, four dollar move in a day, you're making thousands of dollars a day on your on your investment. This is why you get in early at these cheap prices before the street figures it out, because the street is going to figure it out on IPOE. They're going to put two and two together and go, this is SoFi. This is going to become SoFi. Are you kidding me? I gotta buy that. I gotta. Buy, I know SoFi. I know all about these guys. I get stuff on my phone all the time about these guys. I've seen the advertising on on, on, on MSNBC. I've seen it advertised on CNN. I know SoFi. I, you're gonna hear about them on every NFL telecast. Uh, they're gonna be the, you know, welcome to SoFi Stadium. I mean, this is a big deal. The stock is bargain basement priced. It's already traded since it's been a public company at 28 bucks just on anticipation of this deal. This stock will trade beyond that with the deal done. And it's 1727 right now. So limited time frame, kids. Uh, believe it or not, it's going to happen, and it's going to be a juicy little deal. So govern yourselves accordingly. If you don't take advantage of it, don't come crying to me that you didn't buy it. 762,000 shares traded on the morning so far. Yesterday or Friday, before the announcement came out of the date, this thing was trading at about 800,000 shares for the whole day. This is traded 762,000 in seven minutes. Get the drift? It, it, it's being picked up. It's being uh, discovered, and the shorters are about to panic. Uh, they're going to be, they're going to panic, and they're going to want to get their 20 plus million shares back. They won't get it down here. I don't think so. Uh, so watch for that. Keep an eye on it. Uh, GameStop 158.98 down 212. This is the low of the day, approximately. Well, 158.05. I'll give it that was the low trade. 199,000 traded. There is no volume here. We have an early morning attack on the stock, but nothing to get nervous about. It's a very quiet opening. Uh, we are waiting for GameStop to talk and reveal to us their their uh, new CEO. The the next piece of news you're going to hear from GameStop, I think that is significant that you need to hear about will be the first quarter financials. Uh, just indications of financials would be something. Uh, we'll, we'll get that not too long from now. And of course, in about 29 days, we have the annual meeting, less than like four weeks, four weeks in a day. So uh, uh, in four weeks, we get the annual meeting. And that's where all kinds of discussions will be had about this company's future and what's going on. Ryan Cohen will become the chairman of the board and all bets are off. Um, the stock may not be anywhere near where it is now by the time that the meeting is held, let alone after the meeting. Um, so keep an eye on that GameStop at any time it could make its run. So we'll see what the, what it wants to do. There you go. AMC, unfortunately, did get over 10, um, but uh, it backed off. It got to 10.15. It's now 9.81. Uh, and that you were going to have to expect from AMC. It might get little mini runs, little r rushes but it could also have major back-offs. This is why writing call contracts on AMC might be a very, very good idea. Let the risk takers be the option players against your stock. You're holding it anyway, take advantage of it. Even if you have 500 shares, if you can bring in 500 bucks a month or every five weeks on this thing, it's 100 bucks a week being paid to you to hold this stuff. Hey, that's 5,000 a year. How much of this stuff have you got? Uh, get, get a percentage of your money back while you're hanging on. You might be able to acquire more shares. <clears throat> if you're at 185 shares, pick up 15 immediately. Get to 200 shares, write two contracts. Get this stock working for you because uh, you deserve it. Uh, you deserve a return on your money, and this stock will give you a return if you let it. Anyway, same can be said for GameStop. Same can be said for others. I would not recommend writing call contracts right now on any of these SPACs that are awaiting their merger. 
do not do that. Uh, you are uh, shortchanging yourself for the kind of premium you deserve. Uh, you've got to let these companies do their merger, be listed on the exchange with the new symbol and the new name, let them release all kinds of news that they've been probably bottling up now for three months. They're dying to talk. They've got plans, every one of these SPACs, for all the cash that's coming into their warehouse, into their treasury, they're ready to deal at wheel and deal. They probably have pending deals in the background. Just hang tough um, and wait for that to happen first. Then you're going to become possible option writers. Once these shares reach these uh, 20 30 $40 levels, you'll start to look at writing contracts. Again, that's assuming they will do it. We'll find out one by one by one. I'll be here to watch it. We'll see what's going on. Now, IPOE, little drop in the market. Uh, touched uh, 1743 a few minutes ago. Now it's 1662. These are dips. You will welcome these dips. If you haven't got yourself IPOE, now is where you want to get in here. Pick this stuff up and put it away. The next three, four weeks will be active and then the first four or five weeks of listing or if not first few months after listing will be very active and so there are moments where you're going to see possible short attacks on the stock where shorters just don't believe in the upside of the company or they think that uh, that you're a loosey-goosey bunch of shareholders um, pick off these shares as as best you can when they hand it to you uh, because to me it's it's like a deal on a silver platter but that's just me um, I'm uh, one guy, I'm in a living room in Creston, British Columbia, saying, hi, how are you, giving you my personal opinion on what I think is happening in plain English. And it's up to you to decide what the risk tolerance level you want to play with and how much you want to go with it. Right now, 1628 on IPOE, bar gun. It's a dollar less than it was 10 minutes ago. This is a bargain. It's a giveaway. Uh, I don't know why there's a seller at these prices. I can't help the seller, uh, but it, it, this is where you should be a buyer. Uh, you should be taking advantage of these deals. Okay, GameStop, 156.99, down 412 right now. The Dow is up 187 points at the moment. SP is down 5.4, and the NASDAQ is down 167 at this moment in time. That's what we have. The Dow is at a, pushing for a new record. Uh, the S&P is awful close to it. The NASDAQ is is just behind the all-time record uh, for its all-time high. Uh, games, uh, IPOE just jumped again, back up. It is now 1651. It touched 1627 a moment ago. It's now back to 1652 on IPOE as it jumps around. And like I said, these dips are opportunities where you can grab this stuff. Um, I think you could do really, really well with it. There you go. All right. Um, uh, sorry, IPOE is social capital going to be going to become SoFi. They are merging. It's official. We know the date now. The end of May. It's been announced. Uh, the uh, the uh, uh, proxies have been sent out to shareholders of both companies uh, for a, approval of the merger. Uh, it's a done deal. It's going to happen, and uh, we should be listed as SoFi by the end of the month or the first week of June, according to all reports coming out. From 1676 now on the stock, that has jumped up almost 50 cents from its low trade two minutes ago. So, guys, uh, these dips might be short, sweet. I don't know how deep. Um, you get your get your move in there. Grab this stuff. Try to get options when you see these dips. If you're looking to buy call options, maybe the price will come to you that you want to pay and load up on your call contracts for at least six months from now. Um, and the lower the strike price, the better, but I, I can see strike prices as high as 22, 23, not being a problem uh, with this deal. All right, there you go, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your uh, comments and uh, popping by to say hi to me, uh, saying hi to each other. Uh, Smith just picked up 15 more IPOE. Uh, beautiful job. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Uncle Bruce, of course, goes down. Should I buy it? Yes, you should. Absolutely. Uh, these deals are very imminent. All the SPACs that I have listed that you should be considering, uh, you should take a, a real good run at them. Here they are here. These are the SPACs that I've listed you should consider strongly. We start with uh, uh, VGAC, GHVI, SVAC, FAII, VACQ, NSH, IPOE, FAWII, FW. AA. Um, these are the ones uh, you definitely want to have these in your portfolio. Um, the the uh, the fifth wall, the last one there, is the latest addition to my list. That one is three months off, so you can keep an eye on that for a while. Uh, it's right now at 1092. It might back off from here between now and three months from now, but the rest are imminent. Um, the IPOE is looks like the first one out of the shoot, but it might only be the first one out by a few days. 
behind some of these ahead of some of these others that you see. So keep an eye on all of these um, at all times. There you go. Uh, we are uh, uh, into some interesting times. Let's see what's going on. Oil is at 65.29, up 39 cents. Um, and we'll see what uh, what we've got. Buy the dip is exactly what you want to be doing. Absolutely. Here, bought my GameStop. I've literally bought at least one share every day since late February. GameStop right now, 155.74, down 538. This is about 50 cents from its low of the day at the moment. Uh, IPO E now 1682, approaching 17 again. It's coming on at 1.3 million volume. More volume in the first 15 minutes than almost all day last Friday until the last hour when it took off. So uh, uh, this is trading much heavier than last week at this time of the day. Not even, com can't even compare. The IPO E awareness is growing minute by minute. And uh, do not be surprised if... Uh, there is a uh, there's a pop this week on this stock. I, I just I just sense it coming. Again, everybody, thank you for for being here. Uh, thank you so much for your uh, your uh, support, kind words, becoming members of the channel. Uh, thank you for that. Also, Francis, thank you for this do donation. Uh, good morning, Bruce. I'm a lot more cautious on the S SoFi story over here in Germany. You also had our fintech darling wire card. Banking business is tough. I want to see the secret sauce first. I hear you. Uh, except the wild card for SoFi is the banking license charter. This is the this is the one that upset this deal to the upside, really upside. This is where the shorters don't get it. Uh, the shorters are thinking that this is just a fintech deal, where they don't understand that the SoFi people are acquiring a charter bank out of California that gives them a banking charter that allows them to leverage their capital much higher as a, a chartered bank can and that takes this company i think to a five to ten time growth curve multiple 500 percent to a thousand percent more profitable and active than previously thought when this deal was originally announced between ipoe and sofi this deal here has been juiced up big time with this banking charter and that's what a lot of the street is not understanding of this deal this will this is transformed so far dramatically we haven't yet heard the official clearance of the charter acquisition it won't, makes no difference to this merger by the way it's going ahead with or without it but it will get the charter we're just waiting for the uh, the uh, the institution to bless it and and then we're on off and running and perhaps it's possible that a whole pile of buying on this stock is waiting on the sidelines the moment the charter is granted, that could be the trigger right there for a whole bunch of hedge funds and other funds. The other thing I'm waiting for is upon listing the stock on the New York Stock Exchange, upon the merger being completed, that is when you might see the involvement of mutual funds, ETFs, and index funds, especially index banking funds. These mutual funds that are banking funds, ETFs that are banking funds, the index funds that's, that calculate banking. This could be heavily acquired by institutional investors of this caliber for the long haul. Because again, they got their bank charter. Now they're listed on the New York Stock Exchange as SoFi. It now qualifies to go into ETFs and mutual funds under their own internal rules. So there are possibly billions of dollars of money to come into this stock the minute this thing is listed as SoFi. That is why it is so important for those of you who don't have it, get it now while it's still IPOE. This is why you want in here rather than chase it on the listing. Because once it's listed, it's game over. This thing could already be 25 bucks here by that point. Could already be on its way to 30 in the first week. Could be on its way to 40 in the first week of listing. We'll find out when we get there but do you want to wait i don't think you should wait i think you should get now get in now because it's a confirmed deal it's happening the 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 proxies are are out and so uh, 1694 right now we're approaching 17 bucks again volume now 1.49 million if that doesn't tell you like if the volume doesn't convince you i i've run out of arguments i've just run out of argument 1705 right now all right there you go it's on the move and uh do not be uh, intimidated with down dips or anything. Use them as an opportunity, but don't expect too many more. Um, that might have been it for the down dips for quite some time. Let's see what's going on. Um, lots happening. 156.66 on GameStop. It has come back. 
a uh, buck forty from the low of the day here in the last five minutes. Uh, volume on GameStop four hundred thirty-three thousand. AMC now nine seventy-four was as low as nine sixty. Volume of ten point four million. Very good start on the day for AMC volume wise. And again, this is your chance if you're a shareholder. Write call contracts and take money off the table that's being given to you on a silver platter by gamblers who are gambling on AMC. Let them gamble on your stock, not somebody else's. Take the money. Run, Forrest, run. Take the money. Not $16.96 on IPOE, up 45 cents. Uh, make sure you get your shot in there for stock and pick up call contracts uh, that are six months out or longer. Um, right now, try to get some real cheap ones. Get yourself leverage. Get yourself leverage on 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 shares of IPOE. You'll thank me later in a big way. I expect it. I sense it. And I'm excited for you guys. You're going to make a lot of money if you can grab these call contracts while they're cheap. Because they will not be cheap down the road. They will become very valuable. That's when you're selling them. Uh, you're going to do very well on this. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Fantastic. 1719 on on IPOE. Just jumped again. Do not be surprised. This will be the pattern. We're at the high. The uh, high was 1743. It's now 1716, 1719 on 1.5 million shares. We might see 10 million plus trade today on this stock or more. Uh, this will not surprise me. Day traders are going to become very active in this stock which will hype the volume even more and scarcify the offers. That means fewer shares available that, that were uh, once available in buckets. The shorters are going to start to pull back and not short anymore. They're going to they're gonna stop shorting. And when they turn, watch out. There's a $5 jump in one day, just the first day they start doing that. This thing could pop 10 20 30 bucks in a week just on short covering on top of everything else. So there's a lot of excitement coming on this stock, I feel. Again, it's just an old man talking about his experience from 1979 to here, watching these markets, having been in the business, being a desk trader, being a, a vice president of a brokerage firm, being a partner in a firm. These kinds of stocks, once they catch on like this, they really trade. And uh, there will be movement every day. And there's opportunities for you folks to take advantage of this and um, the sooner you know it the better you know, there you go thank you all of you for being here I appreciate it 2100 are here this morning welcome one welcome all say hi to me if you can um, let me know where are you watching me from where in the world are you people uh, tell me the city and the country you live in show everyone out there all you members where you folks are from from right now there are 2100 people here there's there's only there's less than that in for, for members Talk to me, members. Tell me and everyone out there, where are you from? And show this show this channel and show YouTube just how far-reaching this audience really is. This is not a U.S. audience only. We are global, and it's exciting. Here they come. They're telling us right now. They're, my Americans are here. You can see that. They're here. I got Americans all over the place, but I got them from the U.K. Look at that. I've got them from Ireland. I've got them from where else? I got them from the Mississippi River, baby. I got Terra Ontario. I've got Flint. I've got Amsterdam, folks. I can't get all these messages in, but look at that. Dubai is here. Brussels is here. Um, and why not? I'm in Days in uh, Creek, Oregon, middle of nowhere. Brussels, Sacramento, the UK, the Netherlands, Ontario, Worcester, Massachusetts, Florida, California, Philly, Kansas. Look at this. I'm from Springfield, USA, Austin. I'm from Zit, uh, Toronto, Montreal, Atlanta, Charlotte. Stock attack? I'm from Dorrington, the Netherlands, from around the world, people following this story on IPOE, following GameStop, watching AMC, all the SPACs we're following. They are global. We have investors from around the world who are watching this channel. Even a neighbor of mine in beautiful Bonners Ferry, Idaho, 20 minutes from my house. I can't go there. They can't come here. But there are some beautiful people in Idaho, including Bonners Ferry. Thank you so much for being here. The big rotten apples where I'm from. Grants Pass, beautiful place. Grants Pass, been through there a number of times. Uh, New York, España. I'm going to be from the moon shortly. Kentucky, I'm from Mars. Boston, love Boston. Uh, Peru, uh, Tampa, I'm from uh, Thumbsville, Thumbs Upsville. San Suba, Texas, Chicago. I love that town. I got a bunch of beautiful people from Chicago follow me. They love this channel. I have beautiful viewers from Chicago for my other channel, Traveling with Brewers, too. By the way, I'm going to be live four times today. I'm live now here. 
going to be live this afternoon on this channel at 3 o'clock Eastern until 5 o'clock Eastern. Then I'm going to be live at 7 o'clock Eastern on Traveling with Bruce for my sponsor members. And I'm live at 8 o'clock Eastern for anyone to join us on Traveling with Bruce. We talk travel, cruise ships, and everything else. So join me on whatever show turns you on. Come on over and say hi and tell me where you're watching from. This is beautiful. From Texas, Boston, Oslo, the Netherlands, Milwaukee, San Antonio. Look at this. Everywhere, baby. The Netherlands, uh, the North Carolinians are here. Um, what can I say? Pittsburgh. Uh, GameStop is crashing. It is 153.02. It's getting cheaper all the time. Frankie, Long Beach. Why would a bank uh, or the Fed save the hedge funds from bankruptcy? Exactly. Miami, no one is selling GameStop. Uh, Southwestern Massachusetts, out of Providence, the doghouse after my Mother's Day shenanigans. Oh, Casey, you poor bugger. I, I'm fine. All's good here. We're fine here. Pal Guitar, why would a bank or Fed uh, save hedge funds? They wouldn't. Uh, why should they? Grand Rapids. Um, stop that. Vegas, baby. Uh, one man TV station. Arizona, wherever that is. Uh, got another five grand. Where should I put it? GameStop or AMC? You choose. You pick. Split it. I don't care. Port of Vallarta, sunny and warm. Atlanta. Hey, Bruce. So uh, how about that? Connor McDavid. Oh, he's need something. Mesa, Arizona. Buy the dip. Germany, Dortmund, and sometimes in Poland. Uh, by the way, sometimes uh, no, and I could start call contracts in Germany. I do not know about the how to trade call contracts in Germany. You gonna go do some Google searching there. Seventeen eleven on IPOE up sixty cents. Uh, GameStop, 153.35, the low of 152.39, just popped the dollar from the low. GameStop is dipping, bye, bye, bye. Yorkshire, North Korea, really? Um, uh, Richmond, Windsor, San Antonio, Rio, and blog your niche. Bruce, if the IPRE already has an SEC proxy, I think a long call, January 2020, 20, what is that? Uh, is okay, the options calculate a lot of green, and they're very high. Yeah, I would say if you're into a 2022 contracts, uh, No-brainer. Uh, you're laughing. Um, yeah, if you want to go that far out into into even you know next summer, you can go into 13-month long contracts. You get them at a cheap price, buy them. Yes, get them. You can do that on all of these SPACs, but in particular, IPOE is the one you want to be into for sure. Um, I like MRO. Congratulations. Uh, blog, your niche. Uncle Bruce went over that in the beginning. Way up. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Uh, between two jumps. There you have it. Thank you, everybody, uh, for uh, telling me where you're watching me from. It's great. Uh, you're going to make money on IPOE. That was easy. It's going to be easy making money on IPOE. You're going to make money on GameStop. Pick up the dips and grab your GameStop stock. You're going to do just fine. 153.55 on the stock right now. Fantastic. Uh, Uncle Bruce went over that earlier. We got between two jumps. I'm hoping uh, IPO pops so I can reinvest in more GameStop. Got three more game and ten more IPOE. By the way, all my IPO calls are like next year. Well done. Uh, visceral of a blog. Got some Jan 22s at 10 and 17 on, and, and $70 on the cheap. Way to go, buddy. Beautiful job. I got three IPO call. October is 185 each. Cheap. Way to go. Uh, Berlin. Uh, wir waren nach Berlin. A guten Tag. Willkommen aus Berlin. What a beautiful city. Just one of my favorite cities in all the world, Berlin, Germany. You've never been. You've got to go. Make some money on these stocks, and you can afford to go in style, and you will enjoy Berlin. Let me tell you, you need at least 10 days. Don't think about a one-week trip to Berlin. It's not going to be enough. You've got to get part of the – got to acclimate get acclimated to the place. And all around Berlin, wow. Incredible, uh, beautiful, beautiful city, and what a neat place to visit. I got an order for four GameStop at 149.99 at 35 IPOE at 16.90 cents. Let's see if it happens. Oh, you're close on IPOE, maybe. Uh, GameStop 149.99. You're in the neighborhood. You never know. Uh, well, you know, you try to scoop it if you can. 700,000 GameStop now at 153.92. That's a dollar sixty from its low, and uh, IPOE hit a low of 16.27 for like. A second, 1709 right now on 1.67 million shares. Very good volume. We have a new member, Aaron Barbero. Uh, welcome, Aaron, to this channel. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, I think you're the sixth new joiner today. Beautiful stuff. Thank you, all of you, for coming in here. Join up and uh, start talking to us and uh, use emojis and let's have some fun and let's make some money. 1697 on that IPOE. Is it going to be 1696? Are you going to get it? You see, see it treated at 1695. You got it. I see it at 1695 right now. I think you're filled. 
at 6097. That's how you do it. You put your buy order in there and see if the stock comes to you. Scoop it, grab it, tuck it away, enjoy it. It's trading at 17 right now. You're up on it already. Well done. Uh, Buster, I lived in Berlin a couple of years. Lots of fun. Cheap rents. Great city. Oh, it's great. The food. Oh, man, the food. Hey, Aaron Barbero. Uh, Aaron is being welcomed by everybody. That's what happens when you join this channel. When GameStop moons, I think we should buy Uncle Bruce and Jen their own cruise ship. Who's with me? Oh, man, I'll just go on cruises from time to time. It's all good. You don't have to buy me a ship. I don't want to carry this thing, you know. Um, visceral, uh, AB, that away. Let the stock come to you. Welcome, Aaron. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aaron, you're in. You're in the club now, man. You're surrounded by good people here. Beautiful stuff. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming our members. And uh, again, this just shows, you know, we really enjoy new members joining us. We love it when the females join us. When we have female members joining us, we are happy. Jen is thrilled how, how many women are following this channel. Thank you all for, for uh, popping in here. Love that you're here. 152 on the uh, stock, 152.80 on GameStop. Now 153.29. It's jumping around. It's getting cheaper. Uh, we're from uh, Nor uh, Norway. Norway's here, baby. Um, let's see, if I was a hedge fund that's, and had short position on GameStop and covered this position in January, I would actually join the hype, uh, allow others to bump it, and then ride the wave, did shorts cover then. It's possible shorts covered, but I think a lot of new shorts took new positions on GameStop. I think that the shares ran up and then came back down, and I think that even at 50 bucks a share, there were all kinds of shorters shorting at 50, thinking it would go to 20, and it didn't. It went from one. From 50 to 150 now to this level here, even went higher. Here we are, 152.90. Uh, shorters are trying their best to make the stock look as awful as possible. They try to attack it from time to time. Right at the moment, at 152.89, we're near the low of the day. They're trying to scare investors out of GameStop. It's not going to work because people know what the story on GameStop is. Those who hold it are holding it with cash. It's just not a heavily margined stock, and so you're not going to shake out people on margin calls not like it was the first time it took its run. It got margined up way too much. Now it's being held by a lot of people in a cash basis. And that's why these shares will do a dip and then they'll have a $5 recovery in three minutes. Uh, sometimes they jump up eight bucks in five, 10 minutes. It really is dramatic. Run right now, 154.50. Uh, we're up now 210, 210 on the uh, from the dip in just three minutes so there's a, an indication right there what's going on this thing will jump 1669 on uh, ipoe you will see it jumping around you will see uh shenanigans there uh use these dips as your opportunities to get this stuff grab yourself some cheap call contracts go out there six months a year year and a half grab them load up and get yourself a nice uh, a leveraged position on this stock pick up your paper here as best you can tuck it away and get ready to enjoy a lot of activity, I think, going forward. Domingo is here as a member. Domingo Confucius has joined this channel. D DC is in the house. Welcome, DC, to the group. Nice to have you here. All righty, let's see. Oh, yeah, don't worry, Aaron. The initiation ceremony here is quick. It's, it only involves hot wax, paddles, wooden, woolen towels, and a, and a small goat named Sheila. Don't worry about that. It's, it's all over before you know it, and you're, all, you're part of the family. Welcome both of the new members to the channel, our recent arrivals. This is beautiful. All of you, thank you for welcoming everybody in. Bruce, I just bought at 100 at 1705. You're still going to make money. Uh, 1683, jumping up again. 1672, it's jumping like crazy. You're going to make money, I'm pretty sure. Uh, thank you, Domingo says to the uh, to the gang. Thank you for welcoming in, welcoming me into the party here. Beautiful stuff. Do you think IPOE is shorted? We know for a fact that IPOE is shorted. We know there are 24 million short as of last report. We don't know if that's current and accurate, but uh, there is a, a definite short position on IPOE, and I think they're making a fatal mistake because this SoFi deal is so juicy and so well funded and with the charter bank about to be approved watch out uh, these shorters are going to get creamed uh you're going to help them get creamed laughing out all over before you know it sheila is very gentle um laughing out loud everyone's having fun here um thank you domingo sand ipoe is actually the most shorted spac right now uh made don't forget the bagel initiation there's always that i don't forget that 1670 on ipoe volume now on the stock is a total of 1.83 million shares. We're approaching 2 million on IPOE in 34 minutes. This is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, GameStop, 152.90, the low of 152.39. It's really jumping around down here. Volume of only 813,000 shares. 
Uh, less than a million or two million in the first hour. That's quiet, uh, but that's what it is. AMC 972, low of the day 956. Started this morning, went up to 1015. That's where you should have written an option right off the get go. Hopefully, people are taking advantage of stock at these levels to write call options because if it's going to stay between eight and 10 bucks, you might as well get all your premium for 10s and 11s and 12s if you can. Take the money and enjoy it and uh, load up on dips on AMC and you're doing yourself a favor. Let the stock help you buy more stock. There you go. Uh, what do we got? 152.62 on GameStop now. Uh, the low, 152.33. It's right near its low of the day, down 849 on 842,000 shares. The Dow is the winner today, up 215 points, now 218. <coughs> S&P down 428, uh, <coughs> NASDAQ down 202, 202, sorry folks, <clears throat> breathing down the wrong tube <coughs> or, or, or swallowing down the wrong tube. We'll make it. We're going to survive. We'll be all right. Um, up 227 on the Dow, down 395 on S&P, down 199, down 200 on NASDAQ right now. 1649 on IPOE. It is officially down two cents on the day. To me, I find this to be hilarious. Uh, anyone selling here, you got to be kidding me. Uh, they are not aware. <coughs> they don't get it. They think it topped out. They actually think that at 1740, it topped out. So wrong, so unfortunate. But you know what? For every seller, there's a buyer. And this channel, I'm telling you folks, be buyers. Uh, scoop up this cheap stuff. It's being handed to you on a silver platter by those who do not understand what is about to take place. It is going to be dramatic. It's going to be juicy. And uh, when it goes, it will really go. <coughs> this is nothing. This is uh, the not even a preview of what's to come. But you are noticing the volumes. I think that right there should be your tip off. This kind of volume in the first uh, 37 minutes, watch out. <laughs> there will soon not be enough stock available for this continued demand. <laughs> If this kind of demand keeps coming in day after day, week after week, there's not enough stock available. And that's that's what I'm convinced of that's going to happen here. This is going to become a well-known story across the entire marketplace. And uh, with uh, tens of millions of investors, we're going to find out about this stock. We're going to want a piece of this action. There's going to be 200 million shares wanted by a whole bunch of investors, which isn't a lot of money. Uh, but it won't be down at 15, 50, 1656 like you see it here. Now it's at 1674. You're just not going to see it there. There you go. Hang on, Bruce. Breathe. Uh, doctor, doctor. Uh, don't die on us, Bruce. Um, let's see. Um, uh, my favorite part of that C, uh, that G BGAC merger with 23andMe is GlaxoSmithKline. Oh, yeah. VGAC is going to be a very actively traded company as well. They're coming public with 950 million cash the minute their deal goes through. That stock, we will be talking about it a lot as well. It is going to be incredibly active. Richard Branson is the mouthpiece for this thing. <laughs> the press this guy can get at a moment's notice. It's incredible. Global press, not just North American or UK. I'm talking global press. VGAC as 23andMe will be really made. It will be a very um, high awareness stock on the New York Stock Exchange. On New York, yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, damn it, Jim, you need to get Jen to come in and punch your back while you start choking. You know, you need her help. Uh, Fred's Uncle Bruce, stop that. Take a deep breath, man. Hang in there. Um, you can uh, be a net long with call options and still sell stock short. You could. Uh, you, yeah, sure. There's all kinds of strategies out there. But what's the strategy that's going to work for you? That's the question. And are you going to be, uh, are you looking at this thing uh, medium term, say three, six months, nine months? I think you can do very well. Uh, very, very well. I would not be uh, uh, against this one. Uh, Neon, uh, Star Wars with Bruce, any additional new SPACs or stocks you like? Enjoy being ahead of the game like this. There's more coming. Just stand by as members. You'll know. You'll know when I'm ready. There'll be more coming your way. Matt, I love your enthusiasm on IPOE. The insight on this is invaluable. Person like IPOE the, and most of your SPACs. Thank you uh, for those kind words. Hologram, GME, I'm crying. It's 152.36. Um, it was as low as 151.61. It's now 152.36 on 947,000 shares. These dips are opportunities. It's going to be juicy. Yes, Bruce, I like that. Uh, Jim, just dropped the wad on five IPO. I, should I order my Tesla now, Bruce? Well, you know, start looking at the options and start, you know, start pricing it out, you know. 
figuring out your potential. Um, let's see. Uh, the wildlife, the wild's life. Uh, tell them, Bruce, misguided shorters. This is a zero sum game, but you can go negative if you're so stupid. It's true. I mean, you know, you're allowed to be, you know, stupid is as stupid does. You know, it's allowed. Hello, Jen. Good morning. Did How you, are you? Did you have your arms in the air while you were choking? Uh, probably, but I don't remember. I was too busy choking. Uh, you know, I was trying to I was trying to get quotes out to people, uh, telling them what's going on. I love that. How, how can the body let you do that? How can the body let you do something like that? It's ridiculous. I mean, come on. Can I say? The swallow goes down one, air goes down the other. Yeah, you know, but what, sometimes you got so much to say and just, oh, you have so little breath to say it in and <laughs> you start using your stomach for breath. It doesn't so work. Exciting. It just doesn't work. You start using your lungs as your stomach. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, you got to keep everything separate here, you know. You, certain functions do certain things. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. What can I say? What can I say? Uh, people are picking up IPOE here. It's incredible. Leon yeah, saying the 150 wall is coming on GameStop. Telling it like it is. Poor Sheila. Up to 1,000 IPO now. Way to go. IPOE. Hi, Jen, says Glitz Fizz. Folks are saying reaction now that Jen morning. is here. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Um, let's see here. Good, Good to see you. that Jen rushed to save you while you were coughing, Uncle Bruce. Now I feel singled out, says Derek. Uh, <laughs> does she spell her name like Jen or Jen? J-E-N or J-E-N-N? I've seen both for Jennifer. How do you like your names? I'm a one-enner. She's a one-enner. She's a single-enner. There you go. I have uh, an undisclosed amount of game stuff that falls between one and 10,000 shares. Damn it, Jim, way to go. Uh, hi, Jen, one end from Ashley. Um, Zorpheus? I think it's just pure laziness. Maybe that's maybe that's someone else. It, it's just, just too many bumps. Too many ends. Too, ends. too, much, too much work. Too much pen too from a bumps. pen. The pens only have so much ink, you know. you got to let them work. There you go. Uh, Zorpheus says, Uncle Bruce, thoughts on the new regs making uh, short sales Search sellers produce more liquidity to balance their positions. Heard it could be enacted last Friday or any time now. With that said, why are these shenanigans still going on? Uh, remember, uh, there are certain short sellers that have unlimited capital, and it doesn't matter to them. Uh, but there are others who have limited, and they could be the ones drawn in. And, of course, the higher the shares go, the more amplified the problem becomes. And it could well be that at 153 a share on GameStop, it's not as bad a problem as it is at 160. And maybe now you know why the stock is off a little bit with a bit of a short attack going on here. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I, I, I can't say. On the other hand, these shares go to 185, 205, 255, 355 on all this corporate news coming up. Then they have a problem. They've got a real amplify, amplify problem, and then we shall see the other side of this thing. So stand by. Good morning, Jen, from James and James Doe. Jane and James Doe. Funny how she heard you choking and didn't run into your rescue. Oh, she knows also. You know, she's, she's here. It's all good. It's uh, all good. You'll make it. We're still optimistic on VJC. Uh -huh. Yes. Tea is rocking right now. Jen's going to make her tea. Bruce was so passionate about IPO this morning that I finally got around to buying some, says Olivia. Uh, Leon, it doesn't matter. Um, been meaning to. It's just fun, you know. Jelly, jelly today, please. Bagels. Bruce, the dip is real. Any news to justify? No, sixteen ninety one on the on the uh, IPOE. It's up like thirty five, forty cents. Uh, GameStop one fifty four down only seven bucks now. It's jumped up. Uh, what is it? A buck uh, forty uh, two forty two forty from the low on GameStop in the last five minutes. Right now one fifty four thirty two. Jen to the rescue. Uh, thank you. Observe thyself. I don't think it's her real name. Uh, you're right. Uh, bagel, bagel, bagel. What flavor shall we have today, Uncle Bruce? Ask Espar. Uh, thank you for that donation. I'm still thinking about this one. Sitting Bowl, how do you prefer your coffee, Uncle Bruce? Uh, I usually have my, I make my own coffee in the I morning. I like my coffee crisp. I like, oh, Jennifer says, I like my coffee crisp. She says she loves coffee crisp. Uh, she loves Kit Kat bars. She loves Mars bars, but she loves lint chocolates the most. Lint chocolates, chocolate balls, the dark chocolate balls. Oh, she loves that stuff. Um, anyway, what can I say? I like making my own coffee. I make myself a latte every morning. Big double shot latte every morning. Love that. Ashley, the bagel queen, turn our stocks green. There you go. Uh, Derek, Bruce, did you spend yesterday in the doghouse? No. Uh, no. Uh, Jennifer had uh, breakfast in bed. She had her tea uh, with refills, and uh, she talked to her daughter, and all is good. It's all good. And then she watched me talk to viewers one-on-one. -on -one. She watched me working. Uh, it's all good. Uh, curling was on yesterday. She watched the finals of the Women's World Championships. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, no doghouse here. Uh, friends, when you when you short sell, you actually get a liquidity. You get liquidity plus. You have the money from the shares you borrowed and sold. Uh, that's true. You get the money from that, but you also have to put up money on top of that. Joe N is in the house. Joe, 
thank you for becoming a member of this channel. Uh, you're joining us. I appreciate it. Um, and the gang will let, welcome you. Let us know where you're from and uh, so we can say hi to you and your town. Uh, thank you, all of you, for being here. This is great, Joe. Thank you. Take five, my fave. Take five is my fave. Um, uh, Dutch, Dutch, I don't know what that means. Um, are you sure Jen was coming to your rescue or were you hoping she you were dead? Was she hoping you were dead? Oh, she's giggling over there. She kind of likes your comments. I'm not sure. It's like a sinister laugh, you know. Uh, welcome, Joe Ann from Rabbit. Um, Joe, welcome. Everyone is welcoming Joe in. Uh, Bruce, uh, you set us up for Mother's Day fails. Uh, welcome, Farmer Joe. Uh, welcome to the family, Joe, I mean. Um, we got Sitting Bull. Welcome, Joe. He just just got a couple more IPO calls this time for October. Welcome, Jen. Um, B Dude, 1250, June 18. VJC, is that a good call? June is pushing it uh, too soon. Maybe June 2022, you'd be fine with that. Thanks, Boston here. You bet Boston is here. Another Bostonian. This is awesome. Awesome. The group from Manis Massachusetts is coming in. Love you guys. Thank you so much from Boston. That is a bucket list city of mine to visit. 1692 on, on IPOE, up 41 cents now. GameStop, 153.76. Jumping around a little bit. Uh, still up $2.10 from the low of the morning. Now at 154.32, jumped up just now uh, to 152.32. On 1 million shares of GameStop, AMC 980, holding a gain of 29 cents, trying to hang in there. What else is going on? Earnings from GHBI this week. What color, uh, what is that? Uh, sorry, where am I, where am I? What color silk bathrobe is Jen sporting this morning? Nice, nice try. Um, hi there, Joe. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, take five chocolate bar, says Christopher King, is my favorite. Boston is here, says Jeanette Lima. Welcome from Boston. I'm from Houston, Domingo. Welcome, D.C., from Houston. New member as of this morning. Nice to have you guys here. Uncle Bruce question, I'm new to trading outside of my ETF and 401K. When you have a call option, do you need 100 shares in order to push a future option? If you want to buy contracts, you don't have to hold any stock in anything. You can just buy contracts. If you want to sell a call contract to write a call contract a single one you need 100 shares if you have 200 shares you can write two contracts if you have 300 shares you could write up to three you can write one two or three anything you want you can write one that expires this week one that expires next month one that expires next year it's all up to you you have total control of what length the contract has to live what price it's exercisable at and uh there you go you got the control it's up to you Alrighty. I don't know what that means. Good morning. Is it Monday yet? Welcome to Bageltown. Uh, welcome all uh, to the channel. We are at 1696 on IPOE, uh, 1698 now, up another couple of pennies, pushing 17 again. Volume now on IPOE for the day, 2.1 million shares. So that's interesting in, in 47 minutes. Uh, GameStop, 154.93, pushing 155 right now. Volume, 1,080,000. That's definitely better than the last few days on GameStop, uh, pushing 155 right now. All righty, AMC 985. Thank you, everybody popping in here. Lance is asking how we're doing. Morning from SB uh, Fitz, selling my house for 680 grand, and I'm all going in on a GameStop. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Brandon, you can not You can write naked contract or semi-naked, depending if you write on margin or not. That's true, but I would not recommend it. Uh, Bizzle, Coffee Chris is my favorite of all time, says Bizzle. My cousins are Canadian, and they used to help us get the Canadian contraband. <laughs> Got it. Thank you, says Res Resident Flea. Lilo Hopes is our newest member to this channel. Lilo, thank you for joining us here today. Uh, all of you who are joining us as members, man, it's an awesome morning. Appreciate you all being here. We are watching IPOE very closely. It was just at 1699. It's now 1710 on uh, the stock. It is running along here rather nicely. GameStop now 155.25. It's popped up again. It is now almost uh, four dollars. It's approaching four dollars from its low in what 10 minutes so there's a bit of recovery the selling stopped and the buying keeps coming in on gamestop they nibble up dips and up she goes bruce uh, um uh hd sets a new high every day i'm almost up 37 cents 37 percent should i let it run it's up to you uh, you're into a you're into a good one there keep it going uh make money uh do what you gotta do make money welcome lilo uh, uh, low, 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 I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Derek, I almost spent Mother's Day in the doghouse, but 
there was a spider, so my services were needed. And he got out of the doghouse. Well done. And I swacked the spider. That's it. What is Coffee Crisp? Oh, co what is Coffee Crisp? Oh, you poor, poor auntie. You poor thing. Uh, auntie, uh, uh, Coffee Crisp is a chocolate bar available in Canada and I think the UK. I'm not 100% sure. Um, delicious. Uh, yeah, we're not sure who makes it, but it's, you look it's it up on Google. Wafer. It's got a wafer. It's got a coffee flavor mousse in there, chocolate coating. Delicious. Um, hi, Lilo from uh, Resident Fleet. Can we please stop dipping so much? Oh, my God. Dips are what makes the world go around. Uh, welcome. Even dancing, you can dip. Uh, welcome back, uh, Lilo from Reddit. Um, Dober Mama, keep it uh, simple. Yeah, it, it's, Jen is simple. Just keep it simple. Uh, Colin. It's a Nestle's product. There you have it. Uh, Jane Lilo Hopes. Welcome, Lilo Lopes. Uh, Lilo, sorry, I was walking. I Riz, I had to renew, but uh, CT is here. Welcome all, especially renewer, you renewers. Uh, welcome all of you renewers to this channel too. Gregory, Bruce, please tell Jen to bake some cakes. She'll know what I'm talking about. She did, did bake a cake this weekend. She baked up, uh, it was on Friday. She baked up, what was that cake called? It was a, it was a rhubarb. Uh, uh, Stroisel. She cooked up. She baked up. He's a, thinking of a different bake. Oh, he's thinking up of a different bake. He's got his bake, and then I'm talking about the bake I like, which is the <laughs> rhubarb Stroisel cake. Delicious. Um, very nice. Uh, we've enjoyed that. What is coffee crisp? Uh, Chris. Uh, uh, thumbs ups for the channel, everybody. Thank you for the thumbs ups, everybody out there giving us channels. This channel thumbs ups. Thank you. Welcome, Lilo. Bless you, Jen. Where are we at now? Seventeen fifteen on IPOE up sixty four cents. Um, we've got uh, GameStop at 154.22. We have AMC at 9.85. On other SPACs, Gore's Holdings down 27 cents to 11.35. That is a buy. A VGAC 9.94. That is a steal. Uh, fifth Wall 11.19 up 29 cents. They are merging with. Uh, uh, they're merging with. Uh, oh gosh, Smart Rent. Uh, merging with Smart with Smart Rent, but that is three months down the road. It's already in, in great anticipation here. Vector acquisition down four to nine ninety five. Nav site unchanged at nine ninety. Starboard uh, down two at nine ninety five. Fortress nine ninety nine down a penny. Any SPAC under ten bucks that 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 I'm mentioning here, bargains, absolute bargains. Uh, but you're running out of time to get these soon. Each one of them will make announcements like IPO did on Friday. They'll all do the same thing. They'll announce their deal. They'll announce their their their. their uh, uh, proxy they'll announce a target date for the merger all bets are off when that happens uh, they'll be all become they'll all become active but you have to decide yourself your timing and hey there's a budget we have to work with it I understand um Home Depot 34192 beautiful going higher uh, do not think that this stock is topped out it's not even close uh, HD doing well trading at 28.6 times earnings and the dividend will be bumped up every uh, probably three, six months or so. They'll bump the dividend again and again. The money is flowing. IBM up a dollar sixteen to one forty six sixty. That's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. The Dow up two hundred twenty eight points to thirty five thousand and seven right now. That is the Dow index. Uh, that is near its high, its high as thirty five thousand thirty four, which it has hit today. This is if it closes here, new all time record high. So the Dow is reflecting. The market activity and the economic activity of the United States, for sure, and of course, American companies dealing overseas. Because remember, the Dow 30 is made up of the largest U.S. companies, but most of these guys have international operations. They're firing on all cylinders right now, and yet they're working with one hand tied behind their back. They haven't even fully opened yet. This index will keep going higher. S&P <clears throat> down one point. No worries. Uh, that the Nasdaq down 165. Um, um, uh, heavy on the tech side, uh, but uh, I sense upside uh, movement coming as well. Microsoft down a dollar seven. Apple down a dollar seventy six. Uh, Tesla down twenty bucks. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond up thirty three cents. Over on the cruise side, um, Royal Caribbean up nineteen cents to eighty four forty eight. Norwegian down a penny. Carnival down twelve cents. Virtually unchanged. That's where we are right now. We're looking at seventeen dollars on IPOE right now. Up forty nine cents on the day. Volume 2.23 million shares traded. Uh, this stock is very much capable of uh, of 10 million today. 
it is possible. Um, GameStop, 153.37, getting another little wave of selling. Had a little recovery, now a little re recover, uh, down dip. Uh, still up a dollar forty, what fifty from its low on 1.2 million shares. So we're getting a little action here, a little bit of dipping. Um, there's there might be a, a, an attack at 150 being mustered here by short sellers. It's possible. Um, we're just waiting for the company to announce the results of their CEO um, uh, acquisition. Who is it going to be? Um, will there be a lieutenant and others coming along with the CEOE? We'll find out all about that. We're going to hear uh, uh, from the company uh, uh, press releases. The annual meeting is in 29 days. There's a lot going on here, including the first quarter financials, which I think will surprise to the upside. We're waiting for GameStop on a lot of news but in the meantime we have got to tolerate attacks on the stock which we think we're going to get from time to time 152.94 down 817 right now uh the low 151.61 so it's a dollar 26 seven from the low at the moment on 1.22 million traded not heavy mediocre uh, but there is some stock coming in. Uh, again, is it uh, is it short related? I think so because the drop this morning from 161 to 151 was in 20 minutes without waiting for bidders to come in and support the stock. That tells me that is manufactured panic, manufactured selling. We've seen it a zillion times on this stock. It never gets investigated because it's not deemed to be a legal activity, uh, but it is manipulation of a market. Um, I keep wondering what the correlation is between the sellers who drop this stock dramatically and put buyers, put contract buyers in Chicago. And it's possible that there are a bunch of uh, hedge funds writing call contracts naked against the stock and then dropping the market eight, ten, twelve dollars on these panic sales and buying back the calls at a lower price to score a short sale artificial short sale by writing calls and buying them back there's that game as well so they buy long on puts they go short on calls they run the market down and they score on the option side and then they leave the market alone to recover and then they hit it again again i'm just throwing out all the scenarios that could be going on uh, in a plain english kind of way uh, to uh, have you understand that the derivatives market which options are they're a derivative are they can affect the stock uh, one way or another and sometimes one leads the other so we'll see what's going on here uh, let's continue on uh, thank you all of you for uh, popping in and saying hi to me uh, we've got uh, a lot of activity going on here people are saying bless you Jen she sneezed uh, nothing gets past these folks uh, <laughs> Um, the $4, uh, the, the, what is it? The $4 bump must have been Fed selling his house. I don't know what that means. The bump. Thank you, Bruce, for all the insight. You betcha. Bruce had me at three words next three months. I love this. The, the Pike Place Starbucks beans. I don't know what coffee crisps are. And bless you, Jen. Don't tell me I'm on a diet. I'm poor too. Nestle makes coffee crisps. Um, IPOE, May 21 calls. Not worth the risk. Uh, you don't want to play calls that are expiring this month. Not your point. It's pointless. Um, so chocolate is the bomb, says a Ritter Sport. Welcome to the fam, Lebo. Sounds yummy. Is it anything like the new Maka Kit Kats? I love those. I know that Japan has got just unbelievable numbers of flavors of Kit Kats, as does the United Kingdom. They're not as available in North America as they are over there. Uh, so I don't know, but uh, there's some pretty nice sounding chocolate bars out there. A chocolate bar, the coffee crisp? Hmm. Bruce, Killigan's Island or the Andy Griffith Show? Uh, no comment. Uh, what was that cake called? It's, gonna, it's gone. Uh, Bruce, uh, GameStop keeps going down. Is it wise to hold or take your losses and place it in an IPOE? Um, <laughs> you're crazy to sell. Uh, you're, you're crazy to sell GameStop. You're you're crazy. You're absolutely insane. Uh, you're not an investor. Uh, you're a flipper. Uh, you shouldn't be here. Uh, Lilo, where's where's Stitch? Um, strawberry rhubarb, me baby. Uh, did you know that if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball? Who who knew? Man, lots of activity on IPO this morning. This is. Crazy. Great. Uh, we are now at one six. It's sixteen seventy four. Sixteen seventy four up twenty three cents. It's jumping around. Two point three three million traded. GameStop one fifty three seventeen down seven ninety four. The low of one fifty one sixty one today. One point two six four million over on AMC uh, eight eight ninety. Oh, sorry nine eighty. I'm just reading it wrong. Nine eighty down up twenty nine cents. 
at the moment on AMC. You can get the Coffee Crisp at Publix grocery stores in the States. A whole old GameStop, Andres. I really thought IPOE would have jumped this morning. Okay, thanks, uh, DE. I'll see if we have some uh, dip. Uh, you dip, we dip. Okay, I'm hungry now. Time to go with pancakes. IPOE will jump. Don't get impatient. I uh, love you back in my comfy zone. SPACs under 10 bucks is a close to free money as you can get. Worst case, they give you back your money. I mean, geez, uh, yeah. Coffee Crisp is a Canadian candy bar. Uh, I'm sorry about GameStop. I purchased this morning. It always causes a big drop. 153.54 right now on GameStop at the moment. 16.74 on IPOE up 23 cents. Customer just pulled the trigger on my project in West Palm Beach, squeaky two weeks, and it's Florida sunshine. Good health to you from Wally's World. Uh, congrats, Ashley. Meta almost doubled my IPO position Friday when it was 14.93, but thought it might go lower. Duh. Uh, Wally's saying, Ash, uh, bake baking. What? What about that mustard? Uh, Ashley smiling. Uh, Jake, Wally's World. Laugh a lot. I would like uh, to know how many benign comments have been up there for like five minutes. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, we got the dogs barking. Uh, Wally's World, uh, whatever. May I up to my limit of uh, buy a few bucks and got my four GameStop? Why get picky on a few bucks? 152.43 now on GameStop, approaching the low of the day, uh, which was 151.61. And uh, we've traded, uh, uh, we've traded 1.29 million shares so far. Uh, Lance, just watched the Usman uh, UFC fight that was in Florida, just the entire stadium with no masks. Unbelievable. Thanks for keeping us sane. Uncle B, naked, laugh out loud. Uh, Bill, uh, making money on the stock markets is like a full-time job. You think about it, worry, plan, cry at times, laugh, enjoy other times, but you get a portion of yourself for every goal. It can be a full-time gig. Uh, what's going on on IP? OE, uh, well, I think it's going to go higher, a lot higher. Um, 1674, uh, whoever's selling it, mistake. Uh, sorry, uh, Wally's CEO equals CBO equals chief uh, uh, financial chief officer. Uh, Red Ginger Snaps, Bill Coin agreed. Uh, IPOE is merging. You advised a month ago, but IPO really hasn't moved. Any thoughts on IPOE? If you haven't been listening, I can't help you. Uh, coffee crisp sounds delicious. You are the man. 153.34, well, 151 right now. Patches, a uh, legend. They have 30,000 left to short uh, with, uh, I love it when the car can hear Jen chuckling in the background. When we can hear Jen chuckling in the background, I love it. Uh, Jason, go right, hang tight. We won't be disappointed. IPOE may be running a high since the proxy just went out. I predict it will settle down and lower until the actual merger. IPOE, those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape dream only at night. Just transfer all your GameStop to my account, says uh, SB. Um, uh, Jason, um, S. SoFi ended up buying a bank. So the paperwork increased and merger got delayed by a few weeks, but looks like th the, the, the ticker turn June 1st. It's coming up. 1670 on the stock, up 18 cents. Uh, GameStop, 150.38. New low of the day right now. 150.10 was the low. Uh, there's a wall at 150. We'll see if it gets blown through there or not 1.39 million the shorters are going to attack it if they can they'll try 151 26 they will try it to attack if they have enough ammo duck dodge dive dodge uh, if you can dodge a short attack you can dodge a dip good morning jen uh, 72 million 30,000 hmm, not much to short if you can dodge a wrench that goat did it uh market is not going to so hot overall it's hard for anything to run up the dow is up 205 the s p is down 6.3 NASDAQ down 199. Uh, GameStop 151.20. It's a dollar ten above its low of the day at 1.39 million. Now 150, 151.10 up a dollar from the low of the day just a few minutes ago. Uh, IPOE 16.70 up 18 cents. Uh, volume on IPOE now uh, 2.38 million shares. Very active this morning and it is jumping about quite a bit. Uh, AMC at 983 up 32 cents. Volume of 16.7 million. Very good volume on AMC right now. That's where you're at. Gore's Holdings down 40 cents to 11.22 at the moment. Uh, fifth wheel up 32 cents to 11.22. That's a SPAC that's also running up nicely very early ahead of its deal. Home Depot up three bucks. IBM up a buck 70. The Dow up 202. Microsoft down a buck 70. Apple down a buck 90. And Tesla down $25. Those are your early morning starts. We're about an hour into the market. This is your first hour into the market, and that's where we've got it. The Dow is up. The S&P and NASDAQ are down. Oil is down 27 cents. No big whoop there. Um, people are laughing with gin, having fun. 
Where's my super suit? Uh, Christopher wants to know. Gotta go, says uh, Brizzle. I gotta get myself some coffee, Chris. Um, don't if you get a dip, there's five D's in dodgeball. Don't forget that. How about that? Uh, Barry is having a good time. Uh, yucking it up with the dog, I guess. I, I don't know, Barry. I don't know what's going on with you. Uh, we're having fun here. 30 more GameStop on 152 filled. GameStop 149.97. They have broken the 150 level. The stock right now is approaching the 10% drop level. So it might be put on short squeeze restriction list if it drops much more. It's down 7.2% right now in value. <coughs> 149.01. So it's right, right down at 7.2%, 7.4%. It needs to drop another 4 or $5, and it could be on a short sale restriction list. 149.48 on 1.5 million shares. Definitely broke through the 150 level. We just need to see how long it stays down here, how many shares are really coming in for sale, uh, whether this will be sustained or not. Um, that can bounce back five, six bucks the other direction in no time. Keep an eye open on that. Um, IPOE, that social capital, is at 1671 up 20 cents on the day. That's what we got right now. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. It seems like we're losing $10 in value every, every week or so. About three weeks ago, GameStop was 150 they went to 185, and it has slumped back to 150 again in the last three weeks. It's now 150.61 right now. Hey, Jen. You hungry? I'm starving. I'm dying here. I'm just dying. I'm what so hungry. Like? I would love a bagel, toasted bagel. Good. That's what I'm wondering. Ah. I'm wondering about what to put on that bagel. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking uh, maybe we go with the assorted meat bagel. Oh, okay. We got beer sausage. We've got Bavarian meatloaf. Uh, and you know, we have that, um, that big slab of ham that we bought, that big Mitchell's. Yeah. And I thought if you're able to slice that thin you enough, some ham there too. you could slice it thin enough for a slab of ham. And then that, those other two meats okay. have a meat lovers, a meat lovers okay. bagel, no ketchup. no ketchup, um, maybe some honey mustard mayo on there, you know? Exciting times. Uh, 150.50 on GameStop. So we'll see if we can get GameStop to make a run. Thank you, one and all, for being here. It was just around 150 or so. It is. Um, it is at 150. Touched 149. Uh, that's what we've got. Uh, let's see. Jelly Jelly is what they're saying. Every time it drops, the recent days, it strangely dropped. 12 13 percent to stay there for a while then go back up again um let's see a whisper to us daddy whispers do you ever uh, let jen surprise you on a bagel topping um uh, no i haven't done that um um but you know she's always able to surprise me on something like that this channel truly enhances my zen a uh, good morning bruce snag three more games at 150 what a bargain 150 97 right now it got as low as 149.01 for a moment now it's at 150 90 approaching 151 so uh, this stock can bounce uh, dramatically. Uh, it's just a question of how sustained is the selling and when does it dry out. Uh, that's what we got right now. IPOE, 16.65 of 14 cents right at this moment in time. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, very interesting. Bed Bath & Beyond has a new brand. It's the retailer's latest turnaround move. They now have a new brand. might be a house brand they're trying to use. If they have a house brand, that means high margins. Uh, for that company, which would be a smart move on their part. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, let's go. Monday Meat Bagel. Uh, Ashley, thanks, girl. Was thinking of doing the same. Diversify. Uh, observe. Been a busy one, but good morning. Hope you had a nice weekend. Fidelity is uh, fine with me. This, or they're screwing with me this morning. Been trying to re transfer funds for an hour. No worky. I'm walking away before I break something. Uh, Derek, uh, Jen's choice for bagel selection. Surprise. It's poison. Uh, GameStop, finally to get an average down. Bruce, you need a caramelized onions on that bagel. Oh my gosh, stop selling stuff, says Gregory. Uh, just ask D J. Ray, uh, he's having issues now. Observe, that was weird. I just saw 153 or go through in the middle of a bunch of 151s. Showing 150.91 on GameStop right now. Uh, down $10.20, uh, down 6.3% at the moment. 150.95 on GameStop. AMC 985, we're trying to get back to 10. IPOE 1656 up six cents. It's jumping around a lot. 
uh, eggs in my mini baskets and always a nest to bring them home to. Uh, um, a rabbit, rabbit had a great weekend with the folks. Beautiful stuff, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you to the new joiners that have joined this channel this morning. Welcome aboard. Nice to have you here. Those of you who sent super chats to us today, too, thank you so much. Uh, on the email, I know I get email comments a lot. Thank you, those of you who send me uh, PayPal donations from time to time as well. You guys are just great. I, I don't get to uh, call them as much. Thank you very much for this. Also, thank you for joining this channel today, uh, becoming subscribers of this channel, and hitting the bell notification icon to make sure you get alerts every time I do a video and I go live. Thank you for that. Thank you for joining this channel as members, of course, and re-upping again as members. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And it's just so, so, I'm so grateful for this as a gem. Thank you for those of you giving us thumbs ups. Uh, the number of thumbs ups on this telecast right now, 977. We are just a share, a whisper away from a thousand thumbs ups. Thank you to those of you who are hitting that thumbs up button for us, breaking the thousand dollar, thousand thumb barrier, uh, sending new viewers this direction through YouTube recommendations. Every time we get new thumbs ups, more alerts go out to to viewers that have never heard of us before and they start following the ipoe story they follow the gamestop story they follow the amc they follow gores vgac and all the other spacs we recommend along with our favorites so thank you all of you who are throwing me thumbs ups to get me up and over the thousand mark we are now at a thousand plus subscribers you guys are awesome thank you so so much keep them coming in it really helps the channel 1669 on IPOE now, 1669, and the volume, 2.5 million in one hour and 11 minutes. Very strong morning. This kind of volume uh, cannot sustain at these prices, uh, that it cannot stay here. This kind of volume keeps coming in on this stock. It'll go much higher per share. So hang on, kids. Uh, we're about to see a breakout, I believe, on this stock uh, for many reasons including um, corporate and technical, but it's the big merger of SoFi that's going to do it, and it will be a dramatic move. 151 on GameStop. It is now $2 higher than the low of the day 10 minutes ago. Um, that is what I'm showing right now on GameStop. We'll see when the selling dries out, and we may have ourselves a $4, $6, $8 recovery just on a snapback rally, it wouldn't surprise me, but right now 1.64 million at 151 a share approximately is where we're at right now. 983 on AMC and the Dow up 203, holding on to a good gain. S&P down 7, NASDAQ down 200 points. That's what we got. Uh, welcome one, welcome all to the show, to the channel. I appreciate it. Making money? That was easy. That was easy. It's easy to make money in this market. You just got to be in the right stock for the right amount of time. Don't sell too soon when you get into your investment. Hold in there. If you are, are convinced you're on the right track, stay in and enjoy the ride. It's the price you have to pay to be a winner in the market. Sometimes you have to have patience that you never thought you'd have. And call it. Let's see what's going on. Uh, GameStop, 150.47 again. Uh, let's see what's happening. Um, uh, Dave Dees is saying, Robin Hood, Fidelity Schwab, Weeble, they all have issues from time to time uh, to give Robin Hood a bad rep because they've had some scaling issues. I don't think it's fair. Well, I, I, I kind of uh, disagree with that. I think Robin Hood was um, woefully inadequately uh, capitalized uh, on the last run of GameStop, uh, suspending trading uh, for investors uh, who had cash. Absolutely outrageous unforgivable and I would get the hell out of there. Uh, if you've got an account at Robinhood, get out. Uh, they don't deserve your business. Uh, they are trying to go public later this year. I don't know why anyone would sponsor these guys. Uh, they're not They're not fit right now for this market. I just, I just don't have confidence in these guys. Sorry to say, um, but you know, they got a ton of clients. I agree. They got a huge following. I agree. Uh, they're popular, but boy, they really blew it with GameStop and with uh, Best Buy, AMC, and all the meme stocks. They absolutely screwed it up, and uh, they don't deserve your trust. Because if it gets hot and heavy in this market, you can't count on these guys. And what happens if the Dow goes down a couple hundred points, five, six hundred points? What if the Dow goes down 2,000 points on a lousy day? These guys shut down for a while? Uh-uh. Unacceptable. Can't have it. 
Uh, I'd be going elsewhere. You're a beautiful thing, Bruce. Thank you, EM. Uh, Red, um, entrepreneur said, yes, indeed, I do what the, my stocks, SPACs do too. Uh, Leon, why didn't you tell me before I bought some on 58? You're bleeding is right. Um, good IPO e briefing video this weekend, Bruce. Thank you. You're welcome, Eddie. Thank you. I'm sticking with them there when when no one had the little guys back at first. Robin had did. Uh, Dave, good luck to you on that one. Like I say, they just I'm just not uh, I'm just not impressed with them. Sorry, but that's my my take as an old broker. <laughs> what they did was amateur hour, and uh, they're handling hundreds of billions of people's money, hundreds of billions of dollars of people's money. They don't deserve it. Uh, Bruce speaks the truth. There you go. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, amen to that, Bruce. Robin Hood's just a flesh wound. Um, I use Robin Hood Fidelity for different reasons. Fidelity is not very trustworthy either, so it was very funny to see so many Robin Hooders users flock to it. Their executives opening trade against their customers with order flow. Uh, the morning of the day prior to the VW squeeze, regional exchanges were putting orders through with disparities in price action. It's happening right now at the, the second level on GameStop. Robin Hood, geez, no reason to open up an account with those guys. Robin Hood was right up. Uh, down was down right before Elon went on a dodge drop, so we were stuck holding the bag again. Uh, let's keep moving on. Uh, let's correct. Uh, Fidelity has their own issues. It isn't a comparison discussion. Um, why is it every time Doge is up, no one in Robinhood can sell it? It uh, doesn't sound technical to me. What do you think about the SoFi to invest? I like it. Um, let's see. Vanguard is where it's at. Despite their dated website and app, I feel very confident there will be no shenanigans from that broker. 1672 on IPOE, down 21 cents. GameStop, 150.61. The low of the day, 149.01, about 20 minutes ago. We are $1.50, $1.60 off the low at 1.69 million shares on GameStop. No news that we're aware of. Nothing's been said anywhere. The Dow is now, is now up 187. It's down a bit from its high. Uh, S&P down 995. NASDAQ down 213. That's what we have right now. Uh, so the markets are mixed, which is not helping the overall mood. But IPOE is up 16 cents to 1667 right now. Vanguard hasn't failed me yet, says Lisa. There you go. Uh, let's see. Um, what have we got here? Uh Mm -mm. The Robin Hood are legal shysters are clarifying. What do you think about using SoFi platform to invest? I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't use it. You have to figure it out. You have to tell me if anybody knows. What do you think? Does anybody use them? Are you happy with them? I have any has anyone seen reviews about them? What does anyone wonder how they're looking? Uh let's see. Uh, uh let's see. All my safe money went with Vanguard. Uh Vanguard is boss, says Ashley. There you go. 150.39 on GameStop, uh, uh, down 10.72 on the day right now, and IPOE 16.65, up 14 cents on the day. AMC up 35 cents to 9.86. Fifth wall up 29 cents to 11.19 at the moment. There you have it. Home Depot up 360. Uh, IBM up 145. Microsoft down two bucks. Apple down two bucks. Tesla down 27 bucks. Those are the deals. Those are the prices. That's what we're talking about, uh, getting ready for bagel time as the GameStop shares are coming down again, 149.88. Uh, the low of 149.01 has been breached. Uh, we're at the new low of the day. We've got it's a napkin good. or two. It's a challenge it's for a, the bagel it's today. It's a bagel challenge. The IPOE, the, uh, the GameStop is on a bagel challenge right now. Pulled out the protein. Pulling out the protein. All stops. Uh, toasted sesame seed bagel. How dare they uh, short and uh, knock our stock down uh, to 140 901 or even 148 uh but it's at 1507 we're about to eat the bagel and sometimes the bagel is good for the stock we'll see what happens Let's folks see. are picking up deals on this stock which i agree these dips are your opportunities grab this stuff uh absolutely uh what can i say uh let's see um do, 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 do. i just got 60 more at 149.95 grab them when they give them to you they're just, like I say, they're giving it to you. Um, here we go. 90% of investors lose 90% of their money in the first 90 days of trading. Hedge fund made over a billion on PFOF. What does that tell you? It's rigged. Okay, maybe maybe not. That sucks. Um, uh, the truth, SoFi is great for investing in an IPO. That's all I know. Um, let's go. Bagel challenge has begun. Uh, we're at 150.74. Let's see what happens as we start dipping and dripping. Um, no dipping, but we're eating a bagel with the, all the meat and the cheese on there. It's so good. Jennifer is just a goddess. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. 
So good. 150, 74, 150, 94. Let's go GameStop. Oh, yeah. The bagel challenge. <clears throat> the bagel challenge. Hmm. <laughs> Tesla's not doing well. Can we save the bagel? Uh, have a save the Tesla bagel too? 150 50, 150 76 right now. Let's go, GME. <laughs> Average cost to borrow was 149% on AMC taken out on Friday. That's an increase of 929% from 14.47. Um, there you go. D doesn't pay to short stock sometimes. Uh, free thinker double bottom forming. Eat that bagel. Alexander Hart. Hart Pert, um, hey, Uncle Bruce, just here with my monthly donation. Hope you're keeping well, still rocking. We'll hopefully be joining as a member soon. Thank you, Alexander, so much for being here, following me from the UK. I love all of you folks in the UK. You guys are just so good to us. Jen and I, we love you. We cannot wait to get back to the United Kingdom. We so want to see so much more of the UK. We cannot wait. Hope that we, hope someday we'll organize a cruise over there on a cruise ship. We'll give you guys a big heads up that we're coming over. We're going to be on a cruise ship. You can join us, and we'll have the big uh, stock market with Bruce and traveling with Bruce uh, family get together on a couple of cruise ships through the U.K. and Norway and Sweden and the Baltics and Scotland and everything else. Ireland, too. I oh, can't wait, guys. Thank you, all of you in the U.K. and Europe, for following us. I just got four more. Uh, mother of all something. Um, okay. Uh, do you think Matterport... Uh, could get ripped off their technology like China crushed GoPro. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I think that they're signing up. They've already con con conquered 150 countries. They have licensing deals globally. Uh, so I don't think so. I, I think they've got the uh, the tiger by the tail. That's my hunch. Mm. This bagel is so good. 150.44. Lisa B, open up an account. So far, interesting, interesting. Um, anyway, I'll take another three on GameStop. One fifty sixty six. Is that honey mustard? Oh yes, it is. It is mayo honey mustard. <clears throat> oh, it's so good. I used the last bit. We have to remember to buy more. We gotta buy more. We gotta get more. Oh my God. Colin, this is terrible. He ran out of bagels. <clears throat> Had to make toast like some sort of peasant this morning. I failed the challenge, but it was good bread, so I still win. <laughs> 150 48 on GameStop. 1660 on IPOE. AMC 978. All righty, let's go, guys. Let's go. Mmm, that ham in there is beautiful. Oh, that's so good. Here's a good move. Let's put another call option to IPOE. Strike price seventeen fifty for January 21, 2022. Hundred shares. Three bucks a share. For three hundred dollars, you're controlling a hundred shares of IPOE. That thing goes to thirty bucks. That contract is worth three thousand dollars. No, that, that contract was a thousand dollars. I pardon me. It'll be a ten dollars in the money. No, it won't. It'll be twelve fifty in the money, but you're worth twelve hundred fifty dollars plus time premium. Probably trading at fifteen, seventeen hundred for three hundred dollars. Stock goes to forty between now and then, and it could. That contract is twenty two fifty in the money. That's a twenty two hundred fifty dollar contract plus premium, easy twenty five hundred dollar bill for three hundred bucks. Eight to one. That is how you do it. That is how you score IPOE on top of buying the stock. Sixteen sixty right now on a seventeen fifty call. That's a good move. Here's a question. It's technical. 
If I slap Reddit in the face with a bagel, what happens to Colin's hair? Cause and effect. Uh, keep that in mind, people. Cause and effect. All right. Which SPAC is Matterport? Gore's Holdings, GHBI. Hmm. Oh my God, four more of the, uh, I've got four more GameStop. Yum, eat that bagel, Bruce. I'm late, let's go, let's go. Um, gotta, gotta jam my bagel, fam. Have a great day and see you in the afternoon. Rev, we'll take you, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Is that a call or a covered call with Vernon May? He bought a call contract. He bought a call contract to control 100 shares for $300 till next January for $17.50. Good deal. Beautiful. We're at 1665 on IPOE, 150 even, uh, 150 45 now on GameStop, AMC 982. So good. I'm approved for covered calls. I need to get approved for calls. Right on. Coming together. It's happening out there. <clears throat> We're approaching 151. We're at 151.28 on, on, on GameStop now. 151.28. Going higher. Very good. Very good. All right. The second half of this bagel. Oh, it's so good. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. Joining me, uh, we were at 150.50 when we started in on the uh, GameStop bagel, on the bagel challenge against GameStop. Let's see what happens here. Um, wow. Uh, let's see. What do you? What's your guess on the IPO stock uh, price after the merger? Uh, you know, the stock has been as high as 28. The IPO SoFi merger, they're talking 20 to 27 book value now, just on the merger. I think with the bank charter acquired the leverage that they are going to have that number is going to be dramatically higher so the shares can be way higher than that uh, through through the first month first month of being a public company so that's into june july um this could be an easy double from here just easy uh it could be beyond that yet uh we'll, we'll see but i like this i like it here uh it's it, i i in my 14 15 16 17 18 20 just get it just get it don't 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 putz around don't Please don't get cute. Get it, put it away, and you can get your call contracts out to uh, 2022. If you can buy those at a cheap price, take a look at that. Um, <clears throat> uh, your shares probably transferred as margin. Check your emails, whatever. Uh, Honest Company almost at IBO prices might be a good buy today. Um, I don't know about the Honest Company. They, they, the Kramer did a review on them on Friday, and they're not making money. I'm probably the only one of the only guys on Wall Street that I'm the only guy that covers Wall Street that eats bagels on the air. It couldn't possibly be somebody else, could there? I mean, really. <laughs> oh man, one fifty eighty six on GameStop. Let's go. Just saw this notification about Intel downgrade. Intel downgraded by Atlantic Equities from neutral to underweight. <clears throat> Idiots! Um, they're just not. You know, you're you're up. You're downgrading the stock when it's at its low. 
it's too late. You should have downgraded it two years ago. Where were you guys? Um, totally missed the party and are not looking forward to the next two years. They're looking backwards. Um, but hey, analysts can do what they want. I mean, it's, you know, just whatever you want. Anyway, I don't know what's going on. Can you explain why I order 10 coffee cups at Bruce's uh, uh, Red Bubble store? I think I'm in love. Did you actually do that? Did you actually order that many uh, coffee mugs to my Red Bubble store? Um, I'm looking. I'm looking for any any orders that have come in on the Redbubble today. Again, I thank all of you who do this. If you do order anything from Redbubble, my shirts, these mugs, we get a royalty. Jennifer and I get a royalty. They, they handle everything. Uh, just make sure you're using our Redbubble store because there are fakes out there. There are people who are imitating us. Make sure you hit the Redbubble connection through our channel, and make sure it's Bruce Farmer that you're buying from, not some imposter. Thank you, all of you, for that. I appreciate it. Uh, keep them coming in. Uh, what can I say? We have uh, we have now uh, got over a thousand thumbs ups for the show. Over eleven hundred thumbs ups for the show. Thank you, everybody. Sixteen seventy four on on IPOE up twenty three cents now. Appreciate that. All right. Um, let's see. Um, I shaved my I shaved so my bagel slaps best. Not nervous or anything. Um, as thyself will do. Bruce, uh, can you translate what it means for Intel? Downgrade it uh, means nothing. Uh, some people may not. There'll be some who will pay attention to it. But the stock is already down at its low level. It's not. It's not going out of business. They're making a ton of money. They're trading at twelve times earnings. How much lower you want to up ground downgrade it? Others trade at thirty to forty times earnings. It's trading at twelve. Really? Uh, give me a break. Uh, I can make money on that stock. Ona, the oil pipeline is open again, so watch oil. It will fall in price. Well, we'll keep an eye open for that. Yeah. Um, uh, I bought some shirts. Still need my coffee, mu coffee mug for Bruce's stuff. Oh, my gosh. Let's see here. Uh, now I have to order a mug here. Uh, how many uh, have come to the conclusion that the congressional SEC – uh, PFOF focus is a classic case of political misdirection that is failure to deliver that are the true problem and being avoided. There you go. Uh, not reporting short positions in other problem. GameStop is, is so crappy to look at today. Where did Chile go? 150.102 on GameStop. It's actually popping up a little bit. One fifty eighty nine, and sixteen seventy three on IPOE. It's on sale. That's right. The Monday morning sale. One fifty ninety four. Bill, Bruce, SEC filing. Uh, they're filing the paperwork right now, taking it back May 11th. No more dark pool trading, if I understand correctly. That could be interesting, really interesting. Any news on the recent rule change? Um, that could have been the news. Uh, Bruce, are you still an active participant in the market? Um, I'm actively watching the market. I'm actively commenting on the market. I'm actively talking to people about the market, but I don't trade in the market because I don't have a conflict of interest with my viewers. I'm here to comment on the market and let you know in plain English what's going on. Thank you, everybody. Uh, 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 Sheila by Barthar, Bar Brothar's Hammer, You Shall Be Avenged. <laughs> we'll go see, see a paper trades. Mm, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, <laughs> 151.22 on GameStop. Keep going, kids.
Great comments. Oh man, so good. Primo, so good. I don't know about this. I again I don't <clears throat> don't know about the dark pool thing. I, I really find it hard to believe that that's true, but anything that can uh, that can interfere with um, uh, derivatives trading against a stock without reporting would be fine by me. Uh, uh, anything that makes uh, that makes it more difficult to short stock illegally would be fine by me or off the record or off the market that would be fine by me too. Good, good for good for all of us. <clears throat> One fifty one twenty five on on GameStop right now. Alex Cleek Quest is truth. A uh, man bites into a burger, gets a mouthful of hair. Man, why is this? Why is this like this? The cook presses the patty under some um, fit man says, "Gross." Wait till you see how the bagels are made. <laughs> man, <laughs> terrible. Uh, it's not true. Uh, it's just about the New York State Stock Exchange change, charging different exchanges more. That's it. Interesting. Interesting stuff. 151.30 on GameStop. The low of the day on GameStop was 149.01, according to my my reporting here. Uh, so it is, uh, you know, two dollars and twenty cents off the low so far. Um, we'll see if there's a, a base being formed here and a, and a rally point. AMC 978 up 27 cents. Over on IPOE 16 uh, 16.73. The low. 1627, the first 20 minutes of the day, it touched 1627. It's now been as high as 1743, kind of the opening. Now it's 1673 on 2.68 million volume. And uh, I, I think that this will do very well. Um, the moment has come to get into this stock because it's, it's now official. The merger between SoFi and IPOE is going to happen. The proxies have gone out to shareholders. The votes will be tabulated and finalized uh, within the next couple of weeks. And by the end of the month or so, it should be trading as SoFi on the New York Stock Exchange. Great news. Um, it's going to happen. The bank charter is uh, ongoing. That's happening. Um, SoFi will be a very actively traded stock, and I think you're going to do rather nicely on it. Uh, absolutely. What kind of bagel should I get today? Uh, your call. Is it an unwritten in congressional hearings that you should fill half of your speaking time with thanking people for the opportunity to speak? Well, if you're trying to waste time, I would say, yeah. Sheila, I got you a carrot. Um, a Fed register approval should be 511, eliminate dark series on exchange. You can read the update on federalregister.gov. Bill, uh, SEC putting through huge changes, not one politician trying to show or confuse the issue unheard of. This leads me to conclude there is a huge problem no one will comment on. Very interesting. I've just, got, um, just gone on DMCA violation email from Disney. Um, never surrender, never give up the ship. Uh, I voted for SoFi and GameStop. I love voting. There you go. Uh, 1675 on IPOE and 151.32 on GameStop right at this moment in time so these markets are good um the dow at 231 uh sorry 261 gain on the dow that's the high of the day new record high <clears throat> s&p down 4.7 points and nasdaq down 221 the nasdaq is is on the opposite side of the dow today uh gamestop it may be down 979 but it is off its low by a couple of bucks now um, and it might be building a bit of a base we'll find out in the next half hour if that is true or not but it is looking better it has definitely calmed down uh, it has had the most, the longest time without an attack since it started trading today for GameStop, just so you know. Uh, it looks like it's been about 40 minutes since the last attack, and it seems quiet right now. 151.20, 151.25 on GameStop. All right.
Uh, let's see. I, I, I don't know. Dave Lauer looked at it, and it's and it was saying that from from actually has nothing to do with dark pools. Uh, Jai uh, King, thank you for the question. I find it an honor to be able to be here today to present myself before this highly intelligent panel. Let me start by saying that I grew up as a boy. And <laughs> Derek just looked it up, and it says goats like bananas. Um, RSI and MACD slowly rising on the five-day, 30-minute on GameStop. All right, on. Okay, uh, sounds better. 1674 on IPOE, up 23 cents. GameStop now 151.37. Uh, getting a little better, and AMC 977, uh, just under the $10 mark, up 26 cents right now. Uh, Dow up 260, holding that gain very nicely today, um, and that's what is going on. Uh, sitting Bull uh, smiling. Um, Dober Mama, Dr. Tim uh, Trimbath tweeted, Rule 06, just grammatical changes, no real difference. Okay. Whatever they say they're saying. Uh, 1680 on IPOE, a little higher right now. And GameStop, 151.41, a little higher again. Just little pennies of upward movement. Uh, 151.99, speaking of pennies, just jumped 50 cents. 151.99 on GameStop. Uh, they may have had some resistance in that 151.50 range. It's gone. Um, and we'll see now if it can break through 152 here in the next few minutes. And maybe have a bit of a recovery because there, my guess is there's nothing for sale between here and 155. There would be virtually nothing there. Um, though, then again, I don't have a level two machine, so I can't tell you everything about it. We'll just keep going. Uh, let's keep it going. Uh, when it comes to GameStop, I don't think the technicals count. This stock doesn't trade like anything else. Uh, Barry Jam is saying, woof. Uh, one uh, 1680 on IPOE now, um, building a bit of a base here and a little bot, a little jump. Uh, 2.74 million traded on uh, IPOE, and the GameStop 151.81 now on 1.95 million. So that's good, better than lately. And then AMC at 975. Uh, fifth wall up 32 cents. The other SPACs not much going on. Gore is down 42 cents to 11.20. That is a deal. A real bargain, 11.20 on Gore's Holdings. They will announce their proxies soon, uh, I, I expect, any day. Home Depot up 4.94. Beautiful. Uh, IBM up 2, 2.30. Beautiful. They're both going to go higher. Microsoft at down 2.20. Apple down 2 bucks. Both are buys. Tesla down $29 a share. Don't know what to tell you about Tesla, whether it's a buy or not, but it is under pressure today. Bed Bath & Beyond up 57 cents to 25.97. Definitely having a good day. BlackBerry not having a good day, down to 818, down 29 cents. Uh, we've got um, Royal Caribbean down 21. We got Norwegian down 28 cents. Carnival down 31. Cruise lines are under pressure. Uh, Costco's up. Walmart is up. Um, uh, we got Amazon down 80 bucks a share today. We got Nvidia down 17. Uh, Facebook down 13 dollars a share. There was a downgrade, I think, somewhere on, on, on Facebook. Google down 61. So the fangs are under trouble, under are under pressure. All fangs are under pressure right now. That's what's going on here. That's why the, the NASDAQ is down 225. So uh, if you're a bargain hunter on some of these fangs, uh, keep an eye open. They might be a deal here. But that's what's going on. We see Google down 60. Netflix down 9 to 9, 494. Snowflake down 9 to 196. DraftKings off three bucks. Moderna down five dollars to one fifty-seven. Workday down to two thirty-four, down two seventy. DoorDash down three ninety-six to one twenty. Airbnb down three eighty to one forty-seven. <clears throat> Micron down four forty-five to eighty-one. Intel down a buck forty to fifty-six twenty-five. Coinbase actually up eight bucks to two seventy-one. Boeing up two dollars to two thirty-seven. And AT and T at thirty-two eighty, up sixty-three cents. So that that's what we got there. The the Dow stocks are higher. So the high dividend pairs and, and industrials are higher. Uh, fangs are lower. That's why the NASDAQ is off so much. And IPOE at 1681. GameStop 151.48 now, 151.58. And AMC at 971. That's what we've got going on here on this market right now. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I wonder at what point the whole chart voodoo reading really took off. Any infos, Uncle B, stock market historian? Um, not sure what the question is about, really. If this rule change causes more transparency in the markets, 
what do you think the hedge funds will start to do? What happens? What, what the hey happened to Sheila? Are, 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 we're all thinking it. Um, I, I don't know what this means. Uh, Ashley, uh, uh, I'm now driving to Florida in two weeks instead of flying. Windshield time, uh, maybe. I did my buy coffee mug, so so I'm winning. You did buy a coffee mug? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, there's a sale. We got a sale. A coffee mug has been picked up. Uh, fantastic. It's this one. It's this one right here. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm spilling. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for, for acquiring one of these. Ah, so good. Uh, appreciate that. Looks like a tall. You put, you picked up a tall one. Fantastic. Congratulations. And thank you for your support of my channel. That's a royalty for us. Jennifer will be th pleased to see that because she helps upload these logos onto the website. Uh, when you're when you're looking at the logos for the channel, you, what you're noticing, what you don't know is the logos are, are, are being made by, by various people that we have, but Jennifer has to upload them onto Redbubble. So she handles all the uploads on all the logos for all the items on Redbubble. So you're honoring her if you're picking something up, and we thank you so very, very much for that support. It's fabulous. 151.59 on GameStop right now. 16.94, approaching 17 again on IPOE. Thank you for the 1,100 thumbs ups, guys. Keep them coming. I think we're almost at 1,200, maybe even 1,300 is attainable here uh, as the thumbs ups keep coming on board. 16.97 now on IPOE. Uh, it is definitely moving up. We are definitely getting a buy wave in here. Uh, 2.7 million plus volume. Uh, two point, almost 2.8 million volume now on on IPOE. GameStop 151.47, um, hanging in there at 1.99 million traded. We uh, we're watching that closely, and uh, thank you to, uh, sorry, thank you to to Siren, um, to whoever was chatting about dark pools earlier. Dark pools are essential for a market to operate. Ignore the nonsensical comment about SEC trying to scrap them and protect apes. David, sorry to brag, I have a Costco. I have a Costco being built one mile from my house in Oklahoma. Oh man, Dave, 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 you lucky bugger, just be able to pop over there and get a fresh chicken whenever you want, and grab a chicken bake or a dog or oh man, that's awesome. You get your tires done over there. You can walk home, come back and get your car. Oh man, uh, Stonky Kong. Good morning, Doctor B. Uh, thank you uh, for for being here, uh, Matt Cato, uh, SMH getting. Spanked this morning, gespankered. Let's take a look at SMH. It is uh, eight thirty-two on the downside, two thirty-five because of the uh, the hit on computer tech stocks this morning. <clears throat> I think it's unwarranted. I really do. I I, I really believe that these uh, computer chip companies are a buy, an absolute buy. Uh, a year from now, you're going to be wondering why didn't I pick this stuff up? Uh, the high on this SMH two fifty-eight, two two fifty-eight fifty-nine. Trading at 235. I mean, you got to be kidding. This is a bargoon here. But what can I say? I heard there are uh, there are trying to ban dark pools in the market. Again, people are wondering what this means. Let's see what happens. Uh, time will tell. It's 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 a sale on coffee mugs and GameStop. There you have it. Um, let's see. I need I need some mugs and then Bruce Gear says SVT. Right on. Uh, well done, Jen. Yeah, Jen uh, definitely is the one who uh, posts up all the logos. She does. She gets these centered up and sized up. She uh, she works on on these designs, get these up properly and everything. Yep. And she keeps an eye on the she keeps an eye on the uh, on the uh, 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 Redbubble store for imposters and tries to get them eliminated from existence. My daughter just got five more at one fifty fifty. Right on. Uh, we're at one uh, one fifty one thirteen on GameStop. Uh, let's see, Ari. Uh, okay, why do you keep barking? Well, I don't know, Bruce. You're abusing that coffee mug by putting a soft drink in it. Well, you know, I I have always done that with my coffee mug. So eh, you know, what am I supposed to do? Um, let's see, Dave. Are you in Oklahoma City? Um, let's see. We have a Costco that was put in recently here in town. Been meaning to check it out. We typically use Sam's. Uh, where do you live, Ashley? We have, a, we really have, a, I, I have really old Kirkland shirts that I can throw out because they're so comfortable. Uh, I can't, I know, what is that? I can't throw out. They're so comfortable. All right. Uh, what, what did I miss? Knee. That's what you're missing is knee. One fifty one sixty two on GameStop now. Uh, definitely picked up from the low of the day here. Slowly inching a little higher. Uh, IPOE is now broken seventeen again for I don't know how many, how many of time today. 
1708 uh, now on IPOE as it is picking up. 967 on GameStop, only 16 cent game now on on AMC. Unfortunately, AMC is is at 970. GameStop 150, 150 down 961 and uh, IPOE at 1705 of 54 cents as IPOE keeps getting this buy volume coming in, coming in, coming in. And the selling dries out from time to time, and she'll take a shot. She'll take a shot. Right now, the, at 1709, it is approaching the highest level since this morning's opening, up 58 cents on the day. If it gets to 1710, 20, uh, it'll have a clear shot at the high of the day, 1743. We'll watch for that. Keep an eye on it. Uh, that is what's going on. Um, uh, what is going on? Uh, Thomas, uh, you missed the Bruce new member in initiation ritual involving a goat named Sheila. I, I don't know what this means. Uh, Auntie, uh, New Hampshire, um, bagel maybe? First time I really got the dip. 149.05 so far. Got the dip. Uh, 152.17 on GameStop. Just broke through 152 with authority. Looking good. Picking up uh, steam here. Very good move. Uh, hooray. Replay fun in store for me. Uh, it's the con it's construction guys with coffee mugs. You gotta watch. Usually bearing it. Uh, let's see. Um, Seventeen dollars on IPOE. One fifty two oh three on GameStop. One fifty two twenty two and nine seventy on AMC <clears throat> right now. The Dow up three hundred four points. All time high. High of the day. Surging on the Dow. Um, S and P up point seven zero. It finally turned positive, but unfortunately Nasdaq still down two hundred seven points because of the FANG stocks under pressure today. Don't think they should be, personally. I don't think they should be, but they are. Uh, what are you going to do? Anyone see the new Aussie man or Canadian Cobra chickens yet? Nobody knows what that means. Whoa. Then what will the, some of you, that, that will be some drive for you. That'll be, I don't know what that means. AB, hey, Bruce, when it comes to an ETF like SMH, I want to keep investing some regularity, but if I notice a dip now, is it a good strategy to buy an additional whole share or not? Nah, won't make it in. Look, you see a dip like this, buy it. Yeah. Absolutely. You see, it. this is a gift. This is a 2-3% dip today. Take advantage of that. This doesn't happen very often. Not very often. I don't know if there'll be day after day of this. This might be a half, this might be a, half a day dip, and by the end of the day, it might only be down 3 bucks. and you're happy you're already up 5 I'd grab it. I would buy it, yeah. 1701 on IPOE, 152.05 on GameStop, and 970 on AMC, as the Dow is, is in and around a 300-point move today on the upside. Oof, I drove to Orlando from Alabama once and I thought I would never get there. Haven't driven there since. I fly every time now. I feel for you. Uh, or are you talking Alaska? No, that's not Alaska's AK. Alabama's AL, I believe. Um, <clears throat> Sitting Bull, yes. Um, let us be frank. Hot dogs are good. No, I mean the SEC exists to protect the main participants in the market. That is the market makers. Any changes coming are only to protect themselves. SB, uh, observe thyself. You, you, sir, are a god. Not the god, but definitely some sort of divine being. <laughs> Rob the Third is in the house. Uh, Rob the Third, how are you, man? Thank you for popping in here and seeing us um, and being part of this channel and being part of this group. Folks are going to say hi to you right now. They're just going to welcome you in here. Like Everyone gets welcomed in here. Thank you, all of you, for becoming members of this channel, followers of this channel. We love you guys, and uh, we are hoping you're going to make some money today. GameStop now 152.38, uh, uh, popping up from that 149.01 low already. So it's moving up three plus dollars here. Welcome, Rob. Look at that, another uh, great, another Robert. Welcome, I guess. Lots of Roberts here. Volume seems a bit more active today, or maybe I'm just incredibly sleep deprived. Laugh aloud. Good morning, everybody. Definitely higher volumes certainly on GameStop. And IPOE definitely. Um, uh, thanks. I think uh, I think uh, I am also a girl, not a sir. Uh, observe thyself. Right on. Hey, oh, uh, welcome, Rob. Hi, Rob. Welcome, Rob. Everyone's welcoming Rob. This is great. What up, Rob? Um, I drove from Oklahoma City to LA twice in my son's high-powered Camaro. I loved it. Uh, I averaged ninety miles an hour. I've not had a ball driving that thing. That would have been fun. Um, we are the dreamers of dream, Bob Hartley. He shoots, he scores. Uncle Bruce, since we're shareholders of GameStop, can we visit Ryan with a barrel and mug and demand he tells us what's going on? Maybe, you know, he'll tell us what's happening. Uh, Thomas, keep GameStop low, please, so these SPACs can rock out and give me time to buy more. 
Uh, Merklin, uh, Merklin, uh, observe thyself. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Rob, uh, thanks. Been freeloading for a while. Uncle Bruce content is well worth the monthly premium. Thank you, Rob Double, for Rob Third. Thank you for joining us. SB, observe thyself. Gods can be anything they like. Um, we're laughing. IPOE 17, 14, 17, 15. Going higher. Hi, Rob. Z, P, Z, E, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, we're going higher. Um, 17, 14. On IPOE 153.19 on GameStop through the 53 level now. That 153 level has been breached and the stock is now up about $4.18 from its low of the day about 45 minutes ago. The stock is coming back on. GameStop is coming back up. So is IPOE. Welcome, Rob. Uh, cat on the keyboard. Uh, bad bot, says Observe Thyself. Uh, very interesting. Um, but a but a but a. By the way, thanks, Bruce, for the amazing one on one. Thank you, Marcus. It was a pleasure meeting you. Uh, Marcus is in is near Munich, Germany, and it's always so cool to talk to my European viewers, uh, talking to my viewers who are in Germany and the United Kingdom, and my viewers from the USA, uh, from around the world. Uh, I welcome you. I thank you. I so appreciated if any of you would like uh, a, a get together with me one on one there's actually an opening i've got an opening this saturday i got one right now 2 p.m eastern time this saturday may 15th if you would like to get an opening in there send me a one-on-one -on -one right now send me a request saying i'd like that one-on-one -on -one opening for uh the 15th of may i will after these shows are over I will send you a confirmation for that, and uh, and you can make your payment right away and lock it in. And that one is gone. It is gone. Uh, there might be an opening Sunday. I'm not sure. Um, there's one more opening on Saturday that is iffy. We'll see. But other than that, we're booked up again this weekend. And uh, like I said, if you like in, uh, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll slot you in right away. 17.06 is the price of IPOE, a uh, 56 cents today. 153.02. Um, on the GameStop, uh, up 809. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think he was trying to say easy peasy. Um, we have a lot of people buying right now. UPS uh, uh, keeps beating a ATH at its 218 today. Um, would imagine I'll have a correction sometime soon, but trading past ATH for about two weeks now. At the money, I guess that, I'm not sure what that means. Ah, uh, okay. AB, Bruce, I picked up one whole extra share of SMH. Uh, thanks. Um, we'll keep investing in SMH, but if there's a big 10, 20% dip, I'll add one whole share. Thanks for your long-term advice. AB, way to go. Just just pick this up and put it away. Absolutely. You'll, you'll, you're going to make money. You're just going to make money. Uh, you're going to get richer. I'm sorry, but you're just going to get richer. And that's, that's it. That's just the way it's going to be. Thank you, everybody, so much for uh, being here. Uh, beautiful stuff, everybody. Uh, appreciate it. And thank you again for these... Uh, for these orders you're making on Redbubble today, uh, helping out the channel, that's just tremendous. It's just great. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, it's an all-time high. Bruce, ATH is all-time high. Ah, thank you. ATH, all-time high. Gold, silver are slowly rising. Any concerns? Nope. No concerns. None whatsoever. None. None. 15277 on GameStop. It just broke the 153 barrier three minutes ago. We'll see if it revisits it. Uh, there's nothing for sale until 155, really. There, there's nickels and dimes between here and 155. If it wants to keep coming up, it can easily get to the 155 level. That would be a $6 gain from the low of the day. And uh, that would put the stock $6 below the Friday close. That would be half the loss wiped out right there. Uh, and then we'll see how it formulates from that spot forward. So, yeah, GameStop is uh, not looking not looking bad. It's just, just not looking great, but it's not looking that bad. A 17.01 on IPOE on 50, uh, up 50 cents. Volume on IPOE now. 2.9 million, almost to 3 million shares. GameStop volume, 2.1 million. Also very impressive. That's a lot of money changing hands. Uh, AMC, uh, 20 million traded, 971, kind of hanging in there. Not going very far. That's what we got. The Dow up uh, 312, right near the high of the day for the Dow Jones. Um, S&P is unchanged. NASDAQ down 205. I think it was time to get in my spacesuit for the trip to the moon. Rabbit, uh, that might be what you need to do. What can I say? Uh, we'll hope for the best from there. Uh, very good, everybody. Thank you for uh, for spending some time with me today. We're coming up to the three-hour mark, and we're going to shut down the show in a little bit. Uh, thank you. We're going to be back on today at 3 o'clock Eastern time for two hours. The last hour of trading at 3 to 4, and then the first hour of the aftermarket from 4 to 5. 
We'll keep an eye on all these stocks as we always do. Also, uh, tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, I will be on Traveling with Bruce, my other channel, for sponsor members. So become a member of that channel. You can join me tonight for a hangout show. We talk about whatever you want. It's just a casual one-hour get-together. It's a visit with the gang over there. And a lot of you have started to join that channel to hang out with me there, too. It's much more relaxed than this. Fabulous. I love that. And then at 8 o'clock tonight, my fourth live show of the day today will be on Traveling with Bruce, the big the big show at 8 o'clock. It's the, the, the open show to anybody to come on in. No charge to pop in and make a comment. Come and see us and say hi. Uh, we're going to talk about cruise ships and travel and what's going on in the in the world, uh, world travel, everything else. I appreciate that. Look forward to having you coming in because a bunch of us can't wait to go traveling. We can't wait. Uh, that would be fun. Um, can you explain uh, pipe involvement in SPAC like IPOE? Pipe investing is the kind of investing that is done <clears throat> when the mergers com are completed. There's already $1.9 billion of money waiting for SoFi the minute that IPOE and SoFi start trading on the, on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, I think it's a, about 900 million is in the SPAC and a billion is in a pipe investment, which is the the first investment uh, into the into the company at 10 bucks a pop. All those investors are pension funds, mutual funds, hedge funds, uh, banking investing, all, all kinds of big investors have pooled a billion bucks at $10 a share to pump up the financing from 900 million to 1.9 billion for SoFi the day they list. That's why these shares at 1701 are a bargain <clears throat> because you're buying into a stock right now that is about to become SoFi with 1.9 billion of fresh cash added on top of that company. It's an $8.4 billion enterprise value the minute it starts trading. You're buying this at 17 bucks a share. It's not going to be here at that point it's going to happen in three weeks they've announced it it's it's out this thing's a bargoon right now scoop this up get in there and enjoy the ride you're going to do very very well anyway that's what's happening with pipe financing i love these SPACs. all the SPACs i follow have pipe financing anywhere from 300 million to 400 500 million more than their ipo uh their initial SPAC investment money beautiful Anyway, there you go. I have a good afternoon sitting both Be careful. The hedgies don't cash out on your SPACs like they did on mine. I don't think they will. Catch you later, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Have a good one, man. Say all this afternoon. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, see you later at the break. And see you in the afternoon, everybody. One day, I'll finally be able to be, tra be, be make it to the Traveling Channel. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Same to you, Ashley. Uh, let's see. Uh, hi, all. Thanks, Uncle B. Uh, well, um, uh, bye, apes. Uncle B, got to go to work. That I'll see you at the close. Thanks. Have a good day. We'll see you in uh, in uh, at three o'clock today, in a few hours for two hours. The last hour of the day and the first hour of the aftermarket. Let's keep an eye on the market. In the meantime, uh, IPOE now seventeen ten up fifty nine cents. Good day. GameStop one fifty two fifty two. We're refusing to back off. Looks like it might go higher. A AMC at nine sixty nine. There you go, guys. Thank you. The Dow's up three hundred. We'll catch you this afternoon, everybody. Thank you to all these kind messages. Thank you for the new members. Welcome, guys. Thank you for the uh, donators, and thank you for purchasers of game of bread bubble product for our merchandise. Thank you, as always, guys. All right, we'll see you this after at 3. Bye for now, guys.